beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the Word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed it's always important to discern atmospheres because there are graces that are given to men, to ministries. And every time you come under those atmospheres, the graces are authorized to speak. So when you discern the graces that are available in atmospheres, you will know how to take advantage of that grace and enjoy certain blessings and certain privileges. Um, we have to run tonight we have a lot to do i trust that tonight's teaching will challenge us in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah praise the lord by the way let me commend everyone it's been quite maybe three weeks of a real busy it's been very busy for us all the fasting and prayer and then the miracle service I really want to commend everybody for your loyalty, your participation. The Lord will honor you in the name of Jesus Christ. Tonight the Lord has laid in my spirit. I'll be teaching tonight and we'll be building on it next week. And uh, let's see how far the Lord will take us. A very important subject that concerns the body of Christ. Now please look up. I hope you know that part of the indices for measuring spiritual growth aside from your conformity to the image of the christ is understanding the systems of the kingdom everyone says systems understanding the ways and the operation of the kingdom hallelujah you are only growing spiritually when two things happen to you number one you are experientially coming into conformity you are becoming like christ in reality it's a progressive manifestation but it should be an evident one number two you are learning the ways of the kingdom the operation of the kingdom you are getting to know the lord and having an encounter with him and bearing fruit and um, i'm going to be talking about a subject that i believe is important to the body of christ and by the way we honor all our followers online may the lord bless you open up your spirit there's no barrier in the spirit. There's no distance in the spirit. The Lord will bless and honor you in Jesus' name. John 17. Let's look at the prayer of Jesus. Let's start off from there. John chapter 17. We'll read from verse 13 down to 21. There's just one verse, but let me just lay a foundation even as we build. Let your heart be open. It's not only important to hear the word of God, you must always be in a position to receive it. As many as receive him, he gave them power. The power is given only to those who receive. Hallelujah. John 17 verse 13. And now this is Jesus praying, by the way. Jesus is praying, talking to his father. Um, he was shortly to depart to begin 
his passion, the activities that led him to the cross. And now he's praying, verse 13. And now come I to thee. Please listen. And these things I speak in the world that they may have my joy fulfilled in themselves. 14. We'll run down till 21. I have given them thy word and the world had hated them because they are not of the world even as I am not of the world. 15. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world. This is a message on its own. We can dwell for weeks here just trying to unravel this mystery. This is Jesus praying. But that thou shouldest keep us them from evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. 17. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so, I also send them into the world. And for their sake, I sanctify myself that they might also be sanctified through the truth. 20. Now listen. Neither pray I for these alone but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. Say Jesus prayed for me. Or say Jesus prayed for me. When he was praying this prayer he added you to the list. He said I'm not just praying for these immediate disciples but there are many who will receive and believe and come into the truth as a result of their word 21 is my verse of emphasis it says that they may be one as thou father art in me and i in thee that they may also be one in us why to the end that the world may believe that thou sent me everybody say that they may be one I'm really speaking passionately to the body of Christ tonight and this concerns every one of us because we're part of it. I want to challenge one of the things the Bible says the fivefold ministry was supposed to address. When you read Ephesians, the fourth chapter, beginning from verse 10, the Bible says when he led captivity captive, he went down to hell and the Bible records that he gave gifts to men. Are we together now? He said he gave unto some apostles and prophets and evangelists and pastors and teachers and all of that. And then he says he gave this fivefold for certain things. For the equipping, perfecting, maturing of the saints. That the saints now being matured will do the work of the ministry. What's the work of the ministry? Kingdom advancement, right? Then he says that we all together will come into the fullness of the stature of the measure of Christ so it is God's desire that such a thing will exist in the body of Christ called the unity of the faith hallelujah the unity of the faith a level of oneness in the spirit that the church will have one voice that when we speak creation human beings government systems will acknowledge that which we are communicating because the church has come through the fivefold ministry to a point of alignment where our voice becomes one are we together now one of the chiefest of all the arsenals of darkness in destroying the church is the proposition that 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 mindset that has been injected into the church that makes the pursuit of god look as though it was a personal revelation that was given to just a person as though god is not interested in the corporate growth of the body are we together now so we have individuals coming with revelations and that's supposed to be the program of god that's how it comes it comes through a person but it is for a people are we together now and this this strategy by darkness has destroyed the body of christ because we have not been able to attain onto that point of unity maturity and perfection it's been a mighty tool 
that Satan has used. And so, in the next two or three weeks, we are going to be examining the concept of, of uh, this statement that they may be one. The concept of the unity of the faith. But to start off tonight, I want to um, take on, you would call it a subtopic. I call it three great errors. Three great errors. I will sing of the wonders of your word. I will sing out for joy. I will sing of the wonders of your word. And I will forever sing your praise. Yes, we will forever sing your praise. Give us revelation tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Exodus chapter 25. Let's start off from there. Three great errors that I believe has caused havoc in the body of Christ, has sabotaged the spiritual progress of many believers many ministries many well-meaning people who love the lord and desire the pursuit of godliness exodus 25 and verse 40 this was the construction of the tabernacle media you need to help us very very fast um, today hallelujah i like us to read together one to read and look that thou make them after what their pattern which was showed thee in the mount if you can have amplified that would be great hallelujah it says that you ensure that everything that is done to make up that temple is done according to pattern listen when it comes to spiritual progress and spiritual advancement the believer is not left to his options to guess his way and choose his method of spiritual growth and his method of understanding god are we together that degree of autonomy is not given to the believer there is a pattern there is a pathway there is a system with which god desires to be known and you cannot create your own pathway to the knowledge of god several people have gotten into error in an attempt to create different pathways to accessing God but there is a system it's consistent with the character of God that every time God gives you an assignment or wants to show you a dimension of himself he shows you how you will walk into it in this instance he revealed to Moses I want to build a tabernacle but there are specifics it was on account of that that the hand of the Lord came upon Bezalel and released upon him the spirit of creativity and craftsmanship and here god is giving a warning again he's saying make sure under no circumstance should you become emotional about this building of the temple do not get to a point where you pity the people so much that you say no 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 instead of using gold gold is not available it will take us a long time to go and uh, and, and source for it and smelt the gold and all of that let's just manage this god is saying when it comes to this you keep emotions and sentiments there is a prescribed pathway are we together it's amazing how many people attempt to cultivate formulas and methods and all kinds of ways that they believe will lead to christ that's why jesus ended that confusion once and for all he said i am the way i lead you to the truth and i give you life hallelujah the concept of patterns is something that has intrigued me personally in my work with god ministries have failed because they have ignored the patterns of god families have failed because they have ignored the patterns of god listen everybody says spiritual patterns say it spiritual patterns there is a prescribed formula for doing anything in this kingdom hallelujah 
There is a spiritual formula for being a father. The only way you can become an effective father in the kingdom is to subscribe to that formula. When you guess your own method, it has severe side effects. There is a pattern to become blessed and wealthy in the kingdom. You guess your own pattern or listen to the garbages that are marketed around, there will be a side effect. Let me tell you something. You see the failure of governments across territories from Nigeria to other parts of the country is a result of our guessing different pathways of managing the earth. When God designed man, he gave a pattern. Are we together now? Our refusal to pay attention to the patterns of God is what is responsible for many tragic events in families. When you see a family, for instance, where it is the mother who is fending for the children and the father is there crossing his leg, doing nothing, for instance, that is a violation of the patterns of God. And the Bible says, whosoever breaks the hedge, please pay attention, the serpent is authorized to strike. So your only basis of fortification in the kingdom is your subscription, your alignment to divine patterns concerning every matter. Hallelujah. Now, we live in a world there is no time in modern history where we have a beehive of arrogant people living and walking upon the face of the earth. Everyone with his own um, self-exaltation. We pride ourselves in intellectual accomplishments. We pride ourselves in our social status and all kinds of things. And these false accolades have brought us to a point where we believe we can be God outside of the Christ. You see, let me tell you something. When the New Testament believer derives the relevance of his entire work in Christ, any activity at all you try to initiate that is outside of the authority, the supervision, and the jurisdiction of the Christ is error, is disalignment, and is apostasy, a deviation from God's patterns. Are we together now? There is a pattern for everything in life. When God anoints you and calls you into ministry, there is a pattern. When God anoints you and calls you into leadership, there is a pattern. Now the trouble there is, we receive the call and choose our pattern. Are we together now? Think how many times the people in the Bible refused to move until God told them how to do it. Moses is standing before the Red Sea and he knows the Red Sea can part. He knows there is a provision in the might of God to deal with that situation. Now Moses, as a person, did not know how it would happen. But one thing is that in the multifaceted dimension of God's wisdom, there is a provision for dealing with that predicament. Are we together now? And so Moses had to pay attention to stay with God. And God spoke to him in Exodus 14. Tell the people to move forward. Stretch your rod. Part that sea with it. When they got to Jordan, you would think it was the same instruction given to Moses. But Joshua had to wait to receive another pattern on how to part the same sea. You went for a meeting and the Lord told you, let everybody lift his hands. Then you go for another one and assume if God said everybody lift his hands, that's what he's saying now. And he said, everybody lift your hands. And nothing happens. And he said, Lord, what is this? And he says, I'm a God of patterns. Is God speaking to us? There were times when the nation of Israel were told to stand still. Don't do anything. God will fight for you. Hold your peace. There were times he said, prepare for war. You are going to fight. Patterns. Our inability to understand. Listen, please. I pray that God will open your eyes. This is not even where I'm going to. 
when the bible says all things are possible let me explain to you what that means in god's multifaceted wisdom there is a solution for everything only if you can wait until you receive the blueprint for addressing that current condition are we together now the bible is a compendium of spiritual patterns how god approaches things in life his methodology his approach to the issues of life god's pattern is that listen if you do not have love for instance even your faith works by love that's god's pattern god's pattern of prosperity is that there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth there is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty the world has their pattern cheat loot kill hoard resources patterns are we together now the world prides itself in achievement in the kingdom it is god that gives men the power to get well there are patterns our cultures have their patterns for instance they tell you when you get married beat your wife in such a way that she will understand the possibilities that are in you then start treating her well are we together now so that if at any point she wants to trivialize your masculinity the memory of what had happened will put her into order that's a world's pattern but god says uh -uh. wives submit husbands love your wives and he didn't leave you to love the way you like he said as christ love the church are we together now let me tell you something dear our lives are largely a consistent activity of violating kingdom patterns consistently in god's kingdom if you want to be great you must be humble in the world system you try to like a political party you try to gather together loyalists who will exalt you but here's how we, are, we rise in the kingdom if i be lifted up not if you i will draw all men are we together now divine patterns let me show you one more scripture and then we'll begin to talk about the errors ezekiel 43 when i found this this was this was powerful i mean it blessed me ezekiel 43 from verse 7 to 12. ezekiel 43 is god blessing us already there are divine patterns ezekiel 43 7 to 12. it says and he the lord said unto me son of man listen he said this is the place of my throne and the place of the soles of my feet where i will dwell in the midst of the children of israel forever he said and my holy name the house of israel shall be no more profane neither they nor their kings by their idolatrous halotry nor by the dead bodies and monuments of their kings verse 8 nor by setting their threshold and so on and so forth let's go to 9 listen he said now let them put away their idolatrous halotry and the dead bodies and monument of their kings far from me and i will dwell in their midst forever 10. son of man listen he says show the temple by your description of it to the house of israel that they may be ashamed of their iniquity that they may see how much they have deviated from my ordinances and my patterns he says and let them measure accurately its appearance and plan next verse and if they are ashamed of all that they have done make known unto them the form of the temple and the arrangement of it this was a prophetic language he's speaking prophecy here it exists and its entrance and the whole form of it and its ordinances and all its forms and all its laws and write it down in their sight so that they may keep the whole form of it and all the ordinances of it and do them he said look 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 these guys are guessing around they are guessing the reason why my presence is not made manifest is that there is a specific spiritual pattern like like an organogram that if done well will give me space 
to find expression. When, when Balaam was called by Balak to go and curse the nation of Israel, when he got to the mountain, the Bible says he saw that there was a spiritual formation. Are we together now? The nation of Israel were arranged according to their tribes with the ark of God being at the center. That was a pattern that was given. And he looked and he said, ah, these people are blessed. I cannot curse them. He tried to curse them, but the dexterity of the pattern refused the curse from coming out. Are we together now? He that breaks the hedge, he that violates the patterns, the serpent, not may strike, the serpent is waiting at the mercy of your alignment, waiting for your disalignment to authorize his operations. He said, tell them, I want you to give them the dimensions. Because you see, a man, when you read the New Testament, the Bible tells us that we are, we are temples. Temples. And so in the similitude of this that was revealed to prophet Ezekiel, He's saying there are dimensions, there are patterns. Listen. This spiritual alignment works like magic. Look at me. Please look at me. I want to talk to you honestly. Brothers and sisters, you may never know to what degree your alignment can authorize the activities of heaven around your life. Elijah the prophet understood divine patterns. When it was time to call the presence of God, he didn't roam around guessing his options. He said, bring me 12 stones. Because he was operating with the God of the covenant. Bring me 12 stones. Representing the 12 tribes of Israel. He put a sacrifice upon it. He said, bring me water. And there was blood upon it. And he called down the God of heaven. And God came instantly. Are we together now? The patterns of God. There has been largely a deviation from God's pattern. You see, when you look at a life that after prayer, after fasting, you lay hands on the person, four gallons of oil, and the person does not change, and there is no breakthrough. Let me tell you, among other reasons that person is in by default living in disalignment to the ordinances and the patterns of the kingdom let me tell you something please come you see ba if this guy has a spirit manipulating him whereas by default his heart is stayed on violating the truths and the principles of the kingdom no matter what kind of deliverance i do the devil will only be playing caricature and mockery with him. Are we together now? Because the devil knows that the edge is broken. He can find expression. We see this in the book of Job. Satan came to Job and found out that the edge was closed. And he went back to God and said, allow me. Allow me to be able to penetrate and find expression. So I can pray for this guy. And lay hands on him. Are we together now? But he will go back into consistently violating the patterns of God. The pattern of God. You see, someone sent me a text. Thank you. Someone sent me a text today and said, um, said I'm tired of my life. I don't even know what is happening in our family. Man of God, I believe one word from you would change our financial situation. And I say it's not true. No. I wish, listen. I, I can prophesy and it can bring breakthrough but that breakthrough is like pouring water in a basket there is a pattern that authorizes that breakthrough to leave the family are we together one they are not honoring the lord with their time no no no, no let's even leave honoring the lord with their time number one their hearts like the macedonians are not even with god it says they draw nigh to me with their mouths their lips but their hearts are far away from me are we together now tithing is zero even when it is zero even when it is there is a bribe 
they walk up to God with anger and resentment, spend everything and calculate what they spent later on. And now say, I spent 10,000. Okay, God, how much do I even have? 2,000. Okay, take 1,000. This is your tithe. That kind of attitude will keep that man in poverty. And then to talk of other principles, you do nothing, you get nothing. Are we together? That idea of something for nothing is an illusion, it's nonsense. So that man is violating this pattern. And when he comes for miracle service, in his mind, he's thinking, Oh God, let this guy call me and prophesy to me and say, Your level is changing. And all through the preaching time, he's impatient. He's just waiting for where we say, rise up on your feet. Because to him, he believes every other thing I'm saying is nonsense. This man, you are happy. There's water in front of your table. That's why you don't know what is wrong with me. Listen, it is because of this that we have very little appetite to stay with the word and understand the principles of the spirit. And one of the errors that is even coming to the body of Christ right now is the replacement supposedly to replace the word ministry with what we know as prayer ministry just follow me i have something for you tonight are we together now and so it is good to pray but many people convince themselves and think because i am praying look i know so many ignorant prayer warriors who whose lives is not producing any result their frustration is to the roof because they want to replace one kingdom truth with another. Are we together now? We just finished seven days prayer and fasting. But there are, there are patterns. There are principles that you must learn. Listen, please pay attention to what I'm saying. If you are still guessing your life, you are going to be in trouble. Please come here, Jimmy. Let me use two people. Benga, come. Uh, who promised, come. Let me just use these three people. Come, sir. Now, watch this. These are great men of God. These are three great, mighty people. Listen. If I give all of them a mic, and I say in five minutes, I, I'm not going to do that, just an example. I say, hey, Jimmy, what is the key to the blessing in the kingdom maybe that's the question he has to ask you can you stand up and articulate the same way i look at you and i say how do you make jollof rice i have uh, get a pen and paper get one cup of water go and buy this and that add onion don't put it too early do this and that all of those rules are we together now I come to Benga and I say, how is it, is there a possibility that a man can walk in divine hell? Oh yes, the Bible says it by his stripes we are healed. Are you living in it? No. That means something is wrong. And the problem is never from God. Can he teach you and guide you as though giving you a formula? Are we together now? Number three, I meet promise and I say promise. Can favor walk in my life every day and every time is there such a reality in a man's walk with god that based on an understanding and a, an anointing that comes upon your life you can walk in favor i can call one more person and say can you show us the path of advancement and progress in the spirit can you teach me what to do such that after 10 years i'm still moving forward regardless of what happened everyone say patterns please look at me brothers and sisters your spiritual growth is not all about getting revelations you do not understand it's about understanding the construction you have to know how the kingdom is built the systems of god's kingdom to master the laws with which you will use to command results in this territory. Otherwise, no matter what else you do, it's only a matter of time, you will be frustrated. I guarantee you. You can jump around and act like you are moving forward. 
10 years down the line because this is why you find out that so many people this guy starts well after three or five children he's angry he cannot remember the message he preached 10 years ago because he only prepared it for preaching he preached it powerfully but that truth has not been seated in him what do you know which pattern of the kingdom do you understand that brings you at peace with creation if somebody looks at you now and say mama I'm going to a herbalist tonight and I assure you you see this fowl that I'm holding in my hand is for you we are going to kill you this night I want to ask you a question Koinonia what will you do I know what many of you will do you will call me or you will call Benga or any of the leaders <laughs> apostle somebody is, is daring I'm a member of Koinonia that's why you will stay first you see let me tell you look up look up listen if this is how it continues becoming I'm not helping you I'm only it's like a musician coming for a show that's what is happening the goal of these teachings all the time is not to make you keep saying my this guy is an anointed man of God no there is something that is supposed to be transferred to you are we together like a button at a point you should be able to hold it that which we have seen that which we have heard now you handle it and you can go places with it I know it I know how this thing works somebody looks at you and says you are a failure continue praying in tongues and you laugh and say no I'm not just a tongue talker I know the patterns of God I understand it listen I don't care what you are doing that you are calling spiritual growth if you are not understanding the patterns of the kingdom the days that will come will frustrate your Christian experience look at what is happening for instance in the economy now 1,200 naira or there about one gallon of oil. Now, now the reality is that that's, that's very painful but have you got the light that shines in the night in the midst of this cry some people have never had it this good what is responsible for it are we together there seems to be a time when a spirit comes upon the body of Christ and people start getting lukewarm and cold. Even preachers. I, sometimes I really find it funny. A man of God comes on stage and says, look, uh, we are going to just review what we have been teaching because he's stranded. He has not mastered the key to continuous growth in the spirit. And so he has exhausted every message four months into the year he's tired and then he comes and says well um why are you put looking at me like that it's not like i didn't prepare i've been busy you think ministries and then he starts venting his anger because he has gassed out he does not know that there is a formula in the spirit that can keep men on fire 24 hours believe me when i say this that when people are drowning spiritually right a man who used to walk in miracles and power five years ago five years later is, is barely trying to pray for headache something happened his inability to understand how to sustain the anointing is drying him up are we together now please look at me what you do not know in the kingdom should be your pursuit at this point that's how to grow you don't just open your devotional and say today let me read second kings i've not read kings in a long time you are not growing you are convincing yourself that because others are seeing you read the bible then when you finish you just walk around pray for two hours in tongues just stroll around and blah, 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 one hour blah, 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 two, two hours and you just say oh that's enough i'm growing you are not growing believe me you are not growing it's just religion because your life and the lack of spiritual evidence will show that there is no progress bless you guys please i'd like you to pray in one minute and say lord make my growth constructive pray inside and outside and all those following us online pray lord make my growth constructive 
I'm tired of comparing myself with people and convincing myself that I'm growing whereas I am not growing. The difference between a general and one who just entered the army is, is access to mysteries, access to patterns. He understands the art of war. He knows what to do. He knows how to put fear in his opponent and the enemy. Spiritual growth is not haphazard. You can lay hold on eternal life. You can lay hold on the precepts of the kingdom. If that is not happening, no matter how you convince yourself, you are not growing. Listen, please look at me. To grow spiritually is not to know how to preach. There are many people who have studied homiletics and they know nothing about spiritual growth. To grow spiritually is not to get to the point where you can now start writing books. Look, even an unbeliever is smart enough. You can go online. What does it take, intellectually speaking, to prepare a nice sermon? If I tell you to preach on faith, are you so daft that you cannot go and get messages on faith and listen to an and get some things and look at one or two scriptures remove some things you don't believe and just arrange it and come and stand and say okay we are preaching on faith and deliver an intelligent message and at the end somebody is saying this is amazing I've never had this I thought the Greek word was pistis now you are bringing another word wow and then you leave with envelope and believe that that envelope is a sign it's an authorization that you are making progress then they will invite you for another meeting are we together you see how the deception grows they now say oh ebenezer please there's one small prayer meeting i don't know if you can just come and bless us you are the one who you believe you are growing so you are coming on let's all pray one hour two hours three hours you pray spiritually here and there they start calling you for little counseling and say i'm making progress believe me if those are the indices you are using for progress you know why i'm saying this a time will come your life will become clear that you are not growing and you have to find ways of explaining to people first and foremost why you are not growing to grow spiritually is not the ability to sing spiritual songs alone that's important that you stand on stage and raise a song a popular song that we know in the body of Christ or writing songs. No. It's not a sign that you're spiritual. Your degree of alignment to patterns. Look at me, brothers and sisters. It is on the strength of that alignment you can look at people and stretch your hands and say, my God, bless you. And that encounter will produce more results to them than long grammar of nonsense that cannot be proved. Everybody say, I want results in my life. Please say it, I want results in my life. This is why, regardless of how spiritual we think we are, the people in our environment, subconsciously, they are not impressed and they are not convinced because it is barren of the ability to deliver. If your life is producing results, I assure you, your praying in tongues will not interrupt anybody. Nobody who says, yeah, stop shouting, Jare, it's too much. No, they are shouting because they are comparing that shout for three hours every day at the back of their window. Eight o'clock you are at it. Is it wrong? No. But that you are believing that just that in itself, on its own, please believe me. You see, Ba, I may not I may not claim to understand certain aspects in the kingdom but brothers and sisters when it comes to the presence of God and the operation of the kingdom I know what I'm saying there is a way a man walks with God that God will make your life a wonder there is a way a man thinks he is walking with God and at the end it looks like God is a wicked God I counsel people all the time. After years of spiritual activities, they return back with frustration. And they say, Apostle, I can't understand. I'm the prayer leader in my group. I love God. 
every time we organize crusades maybe in a, a place our village at the end of the year i can't understand why is god this unfair to me is this is this how my life will be i will worship you forever love you forever because this god is too good I will worship you forever, love you forever, because this God is too good. Listen, brothers and sisters, hear me and believe me when I tell you God is a good God. Something about our not understanding his ways is responsible. The inability to understand the patterns of God and you see, that's why many pastors have to be careful. A whole territory can be disaligned because of an ideology that comes from a pastor. Especially here in the north because we are very religious people. We are sincere people who are religious. So a pastor comes on stage and for 10 years he's teaching people something that is an error with such authority and audacity they give birth to their children and their grandchildren and they say this is the way and when the child is saying daddy i think is they say I will, I will slap you it's been this way have you gotten results through it don't question god it's only god that knows what he's doing let's just keep on no 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 everybody shout no way there is a way growing up i saw many things well-meaning people who said all kinds of things about God? This is how we mock ourselves. Lion of the tribe of Judah. Everybody clap for Jesus. They clap, say, no, 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 this is not for my Jesus. And God is saying, do you really know me? All these things you are doing. Look how many frustrated people in the body of Christ. Look how many people are sick in the body of Christ. As if divine healing is a lie. That's why when you come and you are preaching and say there is a possibility in God to bring you healing, they are just watching you. It's when they hear somebody just shout, ah, 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 under the anointing, everybody say, ah, there's power in this place. So let's pay attention to what this person is saying. It's terrible. Look at what is happening to our families. Brothers and sisters, are you not concerned that our spirituality is not matching up with the faithfulness of God and the goodness of God as claimed by him himself. I tell you where the problem is. It's uncomfortably true, but we must admit it. Our inability to understand his patterns. God is a loving God, but he's not an emotional God. If he were an emotional God, the cry of many people would bring them out of hell. I will worship you forever, love you forever, because this God is too good. Yes, I will worship you forever, love you forever, because this God is too good. I have watched the lives of people, even in Koinonia here, I've watched the lives of people when they came for Koinonia with their beliefs, with their understandings about God, and they chose to receive the word of God foolishly, childlikely, and watch what has happened in their lives. Hallelujah. Patterns. Let's go to three great errors. I don't want to just dwell here, but I mean, I can stay here all night and challenge you. I took a study towards the end of last year on God's generals afresh. I've studied them so many times. So many times. But I took I took another study recently. And it was as though I had never studied them. I remember crying almost for two, three hours in the night and say, Lord, what nonsense is this? How come we lost touch with spiritual reality? No symbol to charge the atmosphere for them. No worship song as we know, dancing around. But these people came with sincerity. 
and they activated possibilities in the lives of people. Those guys had results. Hundred people could come sick and up to 95 can live healed. Verified, not this our thing that we're not even sure whether we're healed. Very sure that they are healed. And the Lord reiterated it to me again. Son, I will not bend to your pattern. It was when the prodigal son got up and said, I will arise. The father wanted him, but the father would not just get up and roam around. The son said, ah, ah. He thought to himself, I have disaligned out of pattern. When I was under the authority there, I lacked nothing. I wanted self-sufficiency. It drove me out into lack. Now I'm eating with pigs. Question, did his eating with pigs reduce the wealth of his father? Did any demon advise him? No. He said, I will arise. Let me tell you, some things are not demonic. It is within your power to be angry and say it must stop from today. I will arise and go to my father and say, Father, I have sinned against you and against heaven. I'm not even worthy to be called your son. Take me as one of your servants. And the Bible says, afar of while he was yet coming, the father saw him and ran to him. And ran to him. I am passionate about seeking to understand the patterns of God. Our generation is not in ignorance. Technology has opened us up to a vast array of possibilities. I watch believers now and I'm telling you with all sincerity, the way many people are seeking God is not how I sought God. I sought God seriously. You don't even see anybody say, okay, let me get a concordance. They don't need it. I remember times when we'll sit down, we'll be asking questions. Ah, Jesus went to hell and preached a message. First Peter said so, and we are very fine. Right now, believers don't say, they sit down, gist and talk nonsense. Then when it's time for prayer, everybody say, let's pray. Begin to pray, everybody begin to move around. And we move around as if we are making a fool out of ourselves. Listen, let me talk to you. I have a responsibility to teach you truth. If I did not have the results in my life, you will say I'm deceiving you. Are we together now? Many people call upon God and it looks like he cannot answer. And then we keep creating theologies to explain this. Brothers and sisters, he can be hard. There is a disalignment. We need to return. So pastor said, God is not a God of crowd. He's a God of what then? God so loved the world. Not God so loved Israel. God is not a God of crowd. I desire that no man perish. Prosperity is not the most important thing. All that is needed in your life, you don't need any anointing. Don't no nothing. No, no, the most important thing. If you have Jesus, you have everything. It looks like a very nice message. Believe it and see what it will do to you. It will destroy your life. That's what has happened. Let me tell you. Do you know any spiritual message can make you feel guilty? And so, it is out of guilt you will believe it. People just say, I hope you know there's nothing in this life. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And you just feel guilty and say, ah, that book of financial intelligence I bought. Let me just throw it because the way this guy is talking. Three errors. Let me talk about it. Error number one. That has ravaged the body of Christ is the error of apostasy. Please write it down. Apostasy. Open up your spirit now. The Lord will bless you. Apostasy. What is apostasy? A departure from the known patterns of God. A departure. A derailing from the principles of God. The name is apostasy. Two scriptures very quickly. First Timothy please chapter 4 verse 1. First Timothy 4 verse 1 apostasy the first error in the body of christ is that we have a people who are hell-bent on teaching nonsense and rubbish without finding out if what they are communicating is in line with god's pattern it says but the holy spirit listen distinctively and expressly declares that what will happen in the latter times 
some will turn away not backslide turn away completely from the faith it says giving attention to what deluding and seducing spirits and doctrines that demons teach who teaches it demons. there are doctrines in the body of christ that are doctrines of demons and when i say doctrines of demons don't just think the modern church ancient and modern all there are doctrines of demons that are older than us they subtly came they look spiritual satan always uses it is written apostasy a deviation from the truth listen please look up the first operation of demons in the life of a man is deception to cause a man to err to manipulate truth see deception does not have to be a lie a manipulated truth is also deception i can take truth out of his context and preach you see i've shared with us again and again that this bible is a prophetic book please listen to me brothers and sisters the bible is a prophetic book you can make it preach anything you want to hear there are native doctors that when you enter their shrine you see bible does that mean they are of god you know it's a native doctor but you enter you can see all other religious books and then he adds the bible you can even say let's before i even pray before we cut this chicken turn to psalm psalm five now you are reading listen you are reading the bible i say ah psalm five this guy this guy is making sense ah I'm, i did say, ah me yeah, i'm telling you I'm, I'm a traditionalist but my own is different apostasy a deviation from truth there are people who have prophesied things to people that did not come from god they had something but it was not the spirit of god and they misled people every manifestation of prophecy that is not in sync with the patterns of god is witchcraft whether the operator of it is aware or not the operator may be innocent but it does not justify the operation are we together now how many marriages have broken in the church because somebody got up and said ah um i don't know what is i'm seeing martha leave your husband because as i'm looking at you now i'm seeing that um there is a spirit and they will can't even tell you the name of the spirit the name of the spirit is a and b and c pastors have left wives people are beating people parents have disowned children they have called innocent people mommy water if somebody who is in his right senses was born he has birth certificate from the hospital you now say the person came all the way from the river and all sorts of things now listen i'm not laughing i'm serious because i'm going to balance it there are many people who have carried the illusion right now they walk around saying i'm a witch he said, who told you? He said, a hey, man of God. That's why I came for miracle service. They said, I am a witch. The man of God has never paid attention to find out what the Bible calls a witch. What is the condition from scripture to be called a witch or a wizard? Are we together now? And this has misled people. How about looking at a lady and vowing that you are going to marry a guy his name is Benga. He likes keeping Malu. He will sit down by your left. If you don't marry this guy, your life is finished. And for 10 years, that lady is roaming around Nigeria looking for Benga. Moving all around. We've discussed this under challenging discussions on late marriage. There is a balance to it because there are times that it is true. See, when truth, notice when truth is manipulated it becomes witchcraft apostasy so many people have been confused today because of wrong teachings let me tell you other wrong teachings so you don't think that maybe i'm challenging people that rubbish demonic teaching that came from the pit of hell please look up came from the pit of hell that the anointing is not important 
the most important thing is that Jesus is Lord of your life and you are heaven bound. That's a doctrine of demons. It's popular. It's taught by conservatives, but it's still demonic. Money is the root of all evil. Doctrines of demons. It came from the pit of hell. By sincere people, well-meaning. Don't confuse. I'm not saying those who brought it are demonic. It is devilish and it is terrible because men have absorbed it and it has produced nonsense in their lives. Other doctrines. Prayer is not important. You hear people say that kind of thing. Prayer is not important. They even laugh and mock and everything. And you see some people pray. Bah, 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 and the congregation is laughing. And demons are saying, we like, we like this congregation. He spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Another doctrine of demon. Once demons, once you are praying and you don't have any business with the word, just pray. It's still the same thing. Are we together now? There are all kinds of episodes of lies sugarcoated with a little truth here and there that is deceiving and misleading the body of Christ. Apostasy, a deviation from the truth. Men of God have advised themselves on different ways to raise money and run church projects. Some of these ways of raising money, I, I say, you know that I love the body of Christ, but I must say it. We think it's nice. We think it's marketable. But some of these things were advices that were given by business people who received their inspiration on the seat of yoga. It was under strong transcendental meditations. They received some of this formula. And then we watch their videos on YouTube and say, wow, so this is how you raise money in the church. And then you now come and we apply all kinds of things. Now, the man may be genuinely anointed, but there is a mix, an aberration. It's called apostasy. A deviation from the truth. Some of us right now, you have believed something that is not of God. And that's what has authorized Satan. Regardless of your prayer, he still finds expression in your life. There are people who believe you can have 10 girlfriends. It doesn't matter. The most important thing is marry one. They even tell themselves. It looks nice. And they say, man of God, I have like 10 guys. The last guy just came two weeks ago. Just can you help me? Which one do you think will be a nice guy? Because a doctrine was marketed to you. Are we together? Another, the latest of the dangerous apostasies that are coming is an imbalance of the concept of fatherhood and mentorship that is bringing, is making men in the body of Christ demigods. Are we together now? Usurping authority, not just spiritual guidance, but literally holding the keys of the lives and destinies of other people. The disadvantage being a cause or a threat and all sorts of things. There is a place for that. But I've always frowned at such imbalances that have destroyed the body of Christ. So we have offshoots of these kinds of things. People who kneel down and hands up in church. Churches where they flog people. Oh, you are not aware of it. It has happened to some of you. That's why you are quiet. You are just looking. Because it has happened. Listen, I don't say this in a cynical way. I came with my heart to pour it out. This apostasy. Jesus prayed a prayer. He said that they may be one. They will cut away from all these things and stand in a point of strength. Doctrines of devils. Right now there are all kinds of strange demonic ministerial associations. Are we together now? If you want to rise, you have to come into, it's almost like a cabal, like a cult. You never rise until you subscribe to certain occultic things. And at extreme levels, at least it's not strange in the body of Christ, we know that there are all kinds of occultic societies. How many men of God have been caught with drugs at airports? Customs grounded them. Right? Do you think the man of God started selling drugs like that? He started innocently. The first day he went on TV, he paid almost one million. He said, ah, there must be another way of raising money. And somebody say, continue going. We, we are telling you this thing. We know how it works. And say, together with your preaching, you buy the shoe that has uh, whatever. You put cocaine. 
If you ship that one successfully, they transfer the money to your account. Who will know? After all, it's just your spirit that is sick. Your, 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 your body, your spirit is going to heaven. Your body will be transformed. All kinds of theology. Apostasy. It may not concern you now, but if you don't pay attention to it, you'll be very surprised. A man of God once said, and I've shared it here, how that he went to minister for one of his spiritual sons. And after he finished the ministration, he, he saw the crowd. Within a year, there were well over 4,000 people. And he looked at him, he said, ah, in this place, 4,000. He laughed and said, Daddy, you think your oil, what, what you are releasing upon us? And he said, no. He told him, he said, go out. He sat down with his wife. He said, my daughter, talk to me. And she said, I will tell you the truth, sir. He said, they went to somebody, true story, a herbalist who gave them a mic. You know, most men of God, we have our mics. They gave him a mic, but that mic, they slaughtered a baby like these are little ones. They slaughtered a baby with the physical blood. They did some enchantments and gave the mic. If you are passing that vicinity and your spirit is not at a particular frequency, if you hear that sound, you must meander to that church and go and sit down quietly. Are altar calls being done in that church? You won't believe it. <laughs> Are miracles happening in that church? You won't believe it. You don't use altar calls and miracles just as a sign that things are okay. The man may be sincere, but he was desperate for power to an extent that you kill somebody's child. One of the ladies here, she's even here, she sent me a text day before, when were we talking about it? Yesterday or day before yesterday. Somebody came to steal a baby. He stole the baby as he was going out with the baby. The mother caught him and he dropped the baby and ran away. The lady sent me a text. It happened in Zaria here. Do you know what people do for this anointing? Do you know what people do for power? Do you know what people do for jeep? Apostasy. And people compare themselves with themselves. I shared with you a story years ago about a man of God who had a particular oil that was given to him. You rub it when you enter the meeting, the dramatic manifestations of the spirit. And one day, you know, they were doing an early morning service. True story. And he's like assistant like this. Um, he didn't bath, you know, because he had to wake up in the morning, run to church, so maybe you just wash his face. And he, the man sent him to go and pick something in his room. And when he went, he saw the oil, you know, anointing oil, just like, kind of, I thank God. Let me just rub this thing fast so that at least I can look nice. I can bath after the service. And the guy rubbed the oil. When that guy stepped into the church, I mean, there were all kinds of somersaults and the Jew looked at him and called him. He said, what did you use? He said, ah, I saw oil around your this thing and I rubbed it. He said, you rubbed that oil. May the Lord punish me as I stand before you and I'm lying. Or just giving you a story. Apostasy. Those who have completely deviated, they are not of God. Or those who are of God, but their doctrines are not of God. A man can be of God, but his doctrine is of another spirit. Are we together now? It's still apostasy. So there are those who, as people, are not are not um, of God. There are not many of these kinds. Let's be honest. In Nigeria, popular to the stories, people say everybody, they are fake men of God everywhere. It's, it's not true. There are very few people, very few, and they are not even popular, who are fake. But a man can be of God, but his doctrine, there was a doctrine in the Bible called the doctrine of Balaam. Question, was Balaam a false prophet? So what, why, why was his doctrine? being used to admonish the church there was a doctrine called the doctrine of the Nicolaitans which I hate now the Bible tells us about the doctrines of demons praise the Lord apostasy wrong personalities bringing doctrines from the pit of hell specifically to mislead the body of Christ or genuine personalities but not thorough spiritually and then bringing wrong doctrines and it 
ministering it sincerely, but is destroying the, the body of Christ. These two groups form the group that communicate apostasy. A man can be genuine, a man can be true, but his doctrine may not be of God. Error number two in the body of Christ. That will stop the body of Christ from coming into a place of unity until we work on it is the fear of confronting apostasy we have a group of people a group of individuals and a group of men of God who are less as fair and do not care about the general growth of the body for as long as their individual ministry is doing well let the body of Christ go places. Look up, please. These are the ones that do not have the courage to be controversial. These are the ones that do not have the courage to address a lot of things. Please look up. They are the kind of people who can see somebody like Sam being corrupted in his worship ministry and he's going down and they say, well, this is not my music director, so I don't care. They have the fear they hate being controversial. They are the kind of men of God who always want a good name. They are the kinds of individuals. They, they don't want to be associated with any stain. No, 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 no. Let it not be. Those kinds of people, because of that fear of walking in spiritual things and the fear of being spiritual, have refused the power of God from finding expression. They are the type who don't want anybody to fall down in the church. No, no, no. no. We, don't, we don't want that kind of thing. Somebody starts prophesying, they go and throw him outside. I say, please keep him somewhere close to the toilet, lock him there. We don't want any disturbance. That fear of being controversial. Are we together now? The second error that will stop the body of Christ. When you want to confront certain things, people say, what's your business? Just leave them. Let them do their thing. Shebiu, you are going to heaven. But how many other people are going to hell because of it? Are we together now? Listen, let me show you two scriptures that will bless you very quickly. Mm. Titus chapter 1 verse 10 to 13. This, this scripture is very instructive. Titus 1 verse 10 to 13. Let me tell you why many of the people, the believers and ministers in this group fear because of their, they are so conscious of their ego, their ministry and their reputation. There are so many men of God in Nigeria over conscious of their reputation to an extent that they would rather the body of Christ die than they stand strong to say, no, 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 but this requires adjustment. They can gossip about it in the secret. They can gather people together and castigate men in the secret. They can say all kinds of things in the secret. But none of them have the courage. They are the type that will see a sister and say, do you know that this sister is sleeping with every brother in this fellowship? And you are wondering, you are her pastor. What is wrong with calling her and say, sister, I love you. They would never say it because they are ashamed of their controversy. They are the type that they say, ah, oh, promise is in, in the police station. They say, please, we have many members. This is just one of them. Let the police handle their work there. Because he said, um, if his pastor comes, he can talk to him and say, please, I'm not a pastor of criminals. You see that? Overly conscious of their reputation. Let me tell you something. And I stand before the Lord of heaven to tell you this. If you have scars, I will get on my knees and I will clean that scars with you. Never will we leave our wounded soldiers simply because of reputation. I don't have one. I've been controversial from day one. There are husbands who will not identify with their wives. Two years, she's not giving birth. And somebody looks at her and starts singing a song. Why do we have two men in this place instead of a man and a wife? And the man starts distancing himself. The fear. Listen, if you want the body of Christ to become one, you must drop aside your ministry, your ego. Are we together now? Because you love the body. That's what Jesus did. You laid aside your majesty, gave up everything for me, suffered at the hands of those you have created. You took all my guilt and shame, 
When you died and rose again, now today you reign in heaven and now exalted. I really want to worship you, my Lord. You are from my heart and I am yours forever and ever. I will love you. You are the only one who died for me. Gave your life to set me free. So I lift my hands to you in adoration. Listen. By the grace of God, there is nobody close to me who I will see derailing and I will be ashamed to hold his hands. We have stood by people in this place with all kinds of situations. I'm not, my idea of being a man of God is not gathering. That's why men of God do not have spiritual daughters and sons who are blind, lame. Those ones are not sons. The one who is a CEO, the lady who is drop dead beautiful, my daughter, the one who is, is, is God, God is helping them, all kinds of things. She's sick, they don't have money, it's depending on you. That one is a nuisance. The fear of being controversial. The fear of confronting apostasy. They sit down in a place. They are the people who can be outside. And somebody is making derogatory statements against a man of God. Because of a misconception. And they have the opportunity to say, ah, My brother, whatever it is that happens, you don't address this. They keep quiet. And the person who is talking is saying, I, I think you are aware. You know that a Jimmy is not serious with God. The guy will be nodding. But he's supposed to be a Jimmy's member. But he's nodding because of the fear of identifying. We have people in the body of Christ like that. Are we together now? They are ashamed of identifying with Christ. They are the type who will never put a gospel ringtone. They are the type who can never wear a shirt. Jesus saves. Ah, they are falling their hand. They are the type who can never say bless. They will say bless you when they come for koinonia. But they can do it the other thing. Fear of my ego. Fear of my ego. Fear of my reputation. When they brought the woman caught in adultery to Jesus, that was what they thought he had. The fear. They thought he loved his ministry so much that Jesus would have nothing to do with a prostitute. And they dropped her before him and said, you claim to be holy. This lady, she's been caught in adultery. What do you recommend? And Jesus looked and he says, you see all of you, whoever does not have sin among you, cast the first stone. And she was shocked. When he went to the Samaritan woman, there was a time Jesus sat with prostitutes. He was not preaching, they were eating. And people said, this guy is a liar. When Mary Magdalene broke the alabaster box and was rubbing her hair on Jesus' feet, people said, that's it, we've had enough of this. This guy is, is no, you are not straight, no way. You know Mary Magdalene somewhere. This is not the first time this is happening. And watch this. Jesus never had any pressure to defend himself. I know what many of us will do. You go and say, look, I want you to know that I just looked at her. And it's not like that. I know she's somebody's wife now. What is the whole thing? Can't fear. Fear of evangelism. A guy loves you, but he's not sure you are a Christian. And God says, preach to him. And you say, ah, after this guy has written me all kinds of letters, I will lie now and start talking to him about Jesus and fall my hand and scatter everything and say I'm a church girl. The fear of being controversial. Jesus said, whoever is ashamed of me, hear me before men, whoever is ashamed of me before men. You look at a man of God, there is nothing around his life that lets you know he's a man of God. Hallelujah. People can come to your house and say, sorry, oh, bros, that I, I just held one bottle of Buddha. Let me just drink it very fast. I mean, I said, no problem. Just sit down and relax. No opportunity to preach and talk to them about Jesus. It's not an issue. And they say, won't you take two? And then you just take one cup too and say, Lord, you know that it's just when in Rome, behave like the Romans do. This group of people are afraid of confronting truth. Listen, there are many pastors in many churches who have seen the truth, but they cannot speak. 
Are we together now? There are many pastors who know that it's in being filled with the Holy Spirit that you will step to the next level. They watch people go to hell and remain powerless and they quickly come. That was what happened to a man called Nicodemus. John chapter 3. He had to come to Jesus by night. He was part of those who were shouting at Jesus in the day. You are this and that and that and that but in his heart. So he came by night and this is what he said. He said, Rabbi, we know you are a man sent from God. For no man, forget all that shout we are shouting in the day. We know the truth. Listen, how many people will insult koinonia, abuse koinonia in the day and carry the miracle messages and just sneak and lay their hands where the growth is and say, God, whatever it is, let, just let, let me... There are many people I know who may not publicly stand to endorse what we represent, but they have come to me in secret and say, man of God, pray for us. Sorry, you know that it's just because of our environment. The courage to be controversial. Those are the kinds of people who will blaze the revival. How many people can pray in tongues if their loved ones are around? The courage to be controversial. Titus 1 For there are many disorderly and unruly men who are idle, vain, empty and misleading talkers listen and self-deceivers and deceivers of others listen he said this is true especially of those of the circumcision party who have all of that verse 11 listen he said their mouths must not be stopped for they are mentally distressing and subverting whole families by teaching what they ought not to teach for the purpose of getting base advantage and disreputable gain just stop there there are people like this and he's saying you are watching them he said they should not be allowed to do these things not by writing all kinds of nonsense propaganda but where god gives you an opportunity you can talk to them Isaiah 5 verse 20. Let's hurry up. Isaiah 5 verse 20. Fear of confronting apostasy. They will not speak so you don't know where they are standing. Because if they speak, it may cost them money. It may cost them support. There are pastors who will never teach because they know the day they teach some truths, members will leave and they will rather leave the members and teach error. It's a dangerous thing, brothers and sisters. Woe to those who call evil good and good evil. Who put darkness for light and light for darkness. Who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. You know those who do that? They are the ones who come and say, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. You preach, I mean, it was powerful. Hey, Jimmy, I can't, I can't believe what you did. And they go back and say, what that guy is teaching? Say, lie. They do not have the courage. Are we together now? Because of money, because of faith. There are men of God who are blossoming on TV stations. Because they were given conditions not to preach certain things, not to say certain things. And they said, that's alright. That's alright. And it's growing. Right now, the media is trying to strangle God out. You are not allowed to say God again. Now, there are technologies that mute those parts. You watch it in films. People are saying, my God and my... And you don't hear anything. They've removed it away. But they can't allow any other curse word to be free. Because there are subliminal messages programming the mind of a generation to be depraved and to run away from God. How many businessmen in Nigeria can go to their business circles and stand and say, look, we are business people, but this is my pastor. I am a Christian. I love the Lord. Ah, I say, you don't do that. If you do that, that's equivalent to one year's wages in jeopardy. And so they don't mind behaving that they are not of Christ. They don't care. You are in a board meeting 
and people are saying this is what we are supposed to give the workers but we are going to chop this one just don't mind them all these poor people and you are there you just laugh when it backfires you say i didn't say anything but you watched it you would have enjoyed it if it came the bible says they are the ones who call who is there any problem no 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 not, not at all it's all right the fear of being controversial that's what happens in nigeria that's why we are suffering and having all the kinds of things we're having because there are men whose loyalty cannot be defined there's a man of god i love so much many of you know him pastor tony bakari i love him very well because not necessarily because i believe in all of his ideologies i love him because he's a man who stand i love people who you can define what they represent let me tell you never be friends to somebody who is friends to everybody he's a dangerous person they cannot define their stand you don't know what camp they are in today it looks like they are here tomorrow it looks like they are here they can become anything as occasion serves them they are dangerous people very dangerous people are we together now there are so many people like that there are people who come to church they are nice in church but you can if you organize one party they won't come in the out in the evening when the light has gone down they'll just run and say i just came around before you do it they start nodding to the music last scripture Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 18 and 19. The second category of people who are causing error in the body of Christ. Those who fear confronting any deviation from the patterns of God. Because of what it will cost them. Ezekiel 3 verse 18 and 19. Listen. If you say to the wicked. If I say to the wicked. You shall surely die. And you do not give him warning. Are you hearing now? Or speak to warn the wicked to turn from his wicked way. To save his life. He said the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. But his blood will I require from your hand. Next verse. Yet if you warn the wicked man. And he turn not from his wickedness. Nor from his wicked way. He shall die in his iniquity. But you have delivered yourself. There are many men of God. Who are holding in their hands people's reasons for going to hellfire and i assure you they will answer god the rich man is unfaithful to his wife you know it the rich man is into drugs you know it he carried 100 million from the drug money and brought it to your church and because you need the money you cannot sit down to say sir please hold your money i'm more interested in your soul out of that one million you have already calculated two jeeps 10 10 million that's 20 tight 10 million instruments speakers i'll buy another raf4 for my wife you have calculated it god is watching the fear of being controversial you can stand with one billion naira i will tell you the truth and tell you this is it this is not it number three is God speaking to us? Ready for number three? The third reason or the third error is exaggerated confrontation of error. Hmm. Pay attention to what I'm about to teach. Exaggerated confrontation of error. This is the third kind of error. So the first is apostasy. The second is the error of silence and indifference. The third is the error of imbalance. Imbalance, misjudgment. This is where I will dwell and then we will pray. The third category of people, those who are cynical, wicked by default, who pride themselves at exposing and revealing the downfall of people, in a bid to prove that they are correcting, they find pleasure in revealing the flaws of the body of Christ. They are the type who will hold on to certain things in a person or in a ministry 
and stop people from receiving from God. Listen. There are many men of God today who preach against receiving the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Ask them why. They will say, I went for a meeting and I saw a man of God teaching people how to pray in tongues. Because of that singular mistake, they build a doctrine around it and use it as the basis for attacking anything that will become a blessing. Are we together? Because they had a story that a man of God was sleeping with another man's wife. They just say, all young men, especially when all these ones that wear suit, no tie, be careful. You see that? They say, I remember an incident. They pick on that one and build a doctrine out of it. It's called exaggerated confrontation of error. It would have been good if it were kept within the ambience of its relevance. But by default, they had always been intimidated. Listen, this group of people are those who never do anything serious. They are the ones who look for justifications. When people are praying three hours, eight hours, and they are not praying, they are the ones who are intimidated. The day somebody from the prayer group falls sick, they are the ones to let you know. Those prayer people, somebody has fallen sick. It's not all about prayer. And they say, I've been telling you. So they, they look for situations to justify their failures and their inability for making a mark. I watched a video this afternoon that touched me. It was, a, um, many of you know it, TEDx and all of that. So I was watching, I saw the name. It says, the power of shame. And I said, wow. This is interesting. Let me. And then I clicked on it to listen to it, and it was Monica Lewinsky. Remember, uh, some of you were. T... Hallelujah. 1998. The saga between her and Bill Clinton. Right? Had a scandal. And you won't believe it, Jimmy. When I heard Monica Lewinsky talk for about. 30 minutes. I'm not an emotional person, honestly. Especially when I'm under the anointing. But I found myself fighting tears. Because popular to the stories they gave us, popular to the way they lambasted that lady, a 22 year old lady at that point. You are the one who wants to sleep with our president and nobody heard her opinion. They tore her into pieces. And for about 10 or 20 years, she could not come up in the open because of the shame and the degradation. And when she was talking, people were crying. I said, this reminds me of our world. I can stand to preach and make a mistake in communicating something. What I wanted to say did not live to you the way it came. Those who sit in Koinonia are already used to me making that kind of error. Say they understand what I would have said. But somebody who has been looking for an occasion will say, come and listen to this. He will cut, he will even thank God for, I mean, he will cut, I said, just listen to this line. He said, Apostle Joshua Selman said, the primary assignment of the Holy Spirit is to kill you. Now, he didn't understand what I was saying. He said, can you see that? And you are going to that kind of church? <laughs> They are the type who will say, ah, miracles are stage managed. And then the day somebody comes and says, Kai, I went to this ministry, let me tell you the truth. Kai, what I saw, I didn't like it. They say, you see, but they are always looking for an occasion to validate their weaknesses and their intimidation. So every time they, it seems like they are correcting the body of Christ, they are not correcting the body of Christ. They are venting a philosophy that will give them a breathing space. The goal of their correcting men of God or correcting doctrines is not to create order. The goal is to excuse their limitations. Is God speaking to us? Their confrontation is from the standpoint of jealousy, from the standpoint of envy, bitter jealousy, the standpoint of envy, they use the truth to destroy. They use the truth to gratify the desires of the flesh. They are the type that will fight prosperity and will use one case study. Hallelujah. 
right now i'm sorry to say it and i say it with every sense of apology i've heard of men of god who castigate ministers and talk about people maybe selling communion table you know there are churches that sell communion table wristband water etc etc now there is an exaggeration to those things but you do not throw the baby and the bad water thank god i'm not selling anything to you but i've seen a lot of ministers even communion they criticize ministries and say people are selling blood they are selling this ah forget this they are fathers of faith what sort of nonsense is that the people do not understand the mysteries i've seen people insult god's servant bishop david for because of feet washing you may not practice it you may have reservations about that but learn to respect people's dimensions and revelations and even where you are addressing such issues for corrective purpose it must come from a heart of love not from a heart of bitter jealousy there is a way i can talk about a man of god you will know i have a personal vendetta this is not about addressing an issue this is a preconceived anger in me that has been seeking for a platform to find expression hear me if you belong to that group it must change tonight are we together a lady who is feeling bad about herself has a very bad self-image and may not work on it and all of a sudden she may see a pretty lady and then see the lady dressed very nude and say look at look at what this look at all your christian girls the way she's is true that that lady is nude but her addressing it is not because the lady is nude she is angry at the beauty of the lady and the reaction it is creating to her awareness that she's not good enough so she's using hammer to kill a fly she keeps talking about it i said something pain me today what is it see the way this christian girls dress the what they are trying to address is imbalance here men of god talk about miracles they say do you know that people stage manage miracles there are people who do this yes we know that there are people who do this, but are there people who teach the truth? Are there people who teach the truth? Every young man that is prosperous, oh, they are drug barons, they are this, this, they are 419, they are whatever. Don't mind them. How can a young man be so rich? Don't worry. I mean, life has time. Your limitation, what you believe, you transfer it to a congregation and keep people poor and keep people fighting everybody. Listen to me some of you subconsciously are partnering with the devil to destroy the body of christ i told you here you never hear me open open my mouth and talk about a man of god to condemn him if i mention the name of a man of god is to honor him for something i challenge wrong doctrines i would challenge things that i feel need to be corrected are we together but i will never tear down another man's ministry because i'm trying to show you hear me say it again that all koinonia is doing is a contribution to the advancement of the kingdom it will be fallacy for you to believe koinonia is the only ministry that is making impact thank god for the wonderful things he's doing through us but i am aware you are aware that all around the world there are men and women of god who love god with all their heart some of us will never receive blessings from somebody from a Catholic church because of your cynicism. Oh, Holy Mary, they do this and that and that and that. And God brings somebody to your life who can bless you. But that stigma, because of the exaggerated confrontation of what you may consider to be imbalance, you have closed your heart. Somebody from another denomination cooks food for you. He say, God forbid me, I can't eat this. What has that got to do with the food? There are pastors who have propagated all kinds of messages. Once it is not your member with your church, having your wristband or having the pastors or, or all kinds of things, you fight everybody. Let me tell you, it is a lie from the pit of hell. Don't you let no man give you an impression like him or his ministry are the ultimate custodians of the activities of the spirit. It in itself is an error. Jesus said, I pray that they may be one. That's why you don't find anybody get up here and come and say, oh, the God of Koinonia. I don't have a problem with it, honestly. But I personally, for organizational purposes, no, we give the glory to God and it stops there. Are we together? Three great errors. The error of apostasy, 
the error of indifference is more deceptive than apostasy because nobody knows where you stand they don't know whether you speak in tongues or not they are not sure they don't know whether you believe in miracles or not please look at me the second category they are the type who can go to a herbalist and still come to a man of god they don't care are we together now yeah they are the types who who will run and take drugs in the secret swallow panadol swallow fancy down, and come up and say look in the last 10 years god is my witness even uh, even i don't even know how panadol what was even the name as if they have forgotten panadol how old are you you see the second category the day now they are sick and they have something like a growth that is obvious they travel and don't come to church the lord asked me to preach this because it's very important it's a message to us and it's a message to the body of christ listen galatians chapter 6 verse 1 two scriptures and then i tie it up and we'll pray galatians 6 verse 1 brethren if any person is overtaken in misconduct or sin of any sort listen he's teaching you how to confront error there is a way to confront error there is a way to confront sin there is a way to confront mistakes are we together there is a way to bring confrontation such that it ends up bringing healing and addition and multiplication to the body he says brethren if any person is overtaken in misconduct or sin of any sort he says, you who are spiritual who are responsive listen to and controlled by the spirit should set him right and restore and reinstate him listen without what any sense of superiority and with all gentleness then he puts a disclaimer keeping an attentive eye on yourself see that less you should be tempted to okay the guy came to you and said honestly I love God, but last week I found myself going to a herbalist place to collect a charm. I say, Ah, go and tell Apostle. <laughs> it's not even me that will say this thing, but you see that. And before you know it, everybody in Zaria knows that promise went to collect a charm. You destroy his life, you destroy his ministry, and you say, I've always known it's not today. There was a day the Holy Spirit was revealing to me, Holy Spirit, I'm sorry for refusing to hear you. We, we pride ourselves. Listen, how many wounded soldiers I'm rounding up in the body of Christ. Do you know the greatest place where believers die is the church? I'm not justifying that people live lawless and just do all kinds of nonsense. Let a lady get pregnant in church and you hear what happens. Am I, am I endorsing it? No. Let a lady get pregnant. It's a believer who will come to you. I say, have you heard? He say, you mean you are here? Kai, you have eyes you can't see. Are we together now? A brother goes to ask a sister and she says, no, no, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm already engaged to somebody. Before you know it, this brother says, I'm happy. It's good for them. Blah, blah, blah. You carry and ship trouble. It is only in the church where people destroy their wounded soldiers with joy. May that never happen in Koinonia. In the name of Jesus Christ. We have managed all kinds of cases in this ministry. All kinds. And God is my witness. I love the people with all my heart and with all passion. There are people who have come to meet me with charms. This is what we are doing. There are ladies who have gone to Zaria City and come to say this. I, I don't say, ah, no, no, no. With all the teaching, I'm, no, 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 no. You don't do that. When a brother is caught or a sister, you restore one. Are we together now? If a man of God comes to, how many men of God have come to me? Man of God, I'm preaching, but I'm caught up in masturbation or pornography. I don't look and I say, you, of all people, there's no such thing as that. Let me tell you. There is no man who cannot fall. We are all products of God's mercy. I have learned this. I know that if any man is standing, he's only standing because of God's grace.
Grace, your grace. Lord, I'm nothing without you. Grace, your grace shines on me. Listen, that's how we treat people all around. You see a fellow believer belonging to a particular church, you stand and laugh at them. Ah, see this lady tying her hair in a certain way. See this one cat walking, and there are people who see certain ladies. See the ladies just wearing her trousers. I say, Look at it. These are all the prostitute ladies moving all around. What is this? It's wrong. Is wrong. That love is what we do not have. That's why we don't see the power of God. We pray, we fast, but we have no love. He said, There remain these three faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of all is love. There is no ministry I cannot preach in, there is no man of God I cannot talk to. No matter, I don't care who. I love the body of Christ and I love the body of Christ passionately. Are we together now? Very important. There are books many of us would have read that would have blessed us. But because it was written by authors, our pastors have condemned. The Holy Spirit is nudging you. Read this book. There is lawlessness in your church. Read Papa Kubui's book for instance. Maybe he wrote a book on holiness. And God is saying, read it. You need it. I say, no, 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 no. The church I come from, we have all of this and you lose out. There was a time during my retreat, for one whole day, the Holy Spirit, well, it started in the night, but the Holy Spirit told me to listen to Papa Kumui's messages. Man, that thing flogged me from head to toe. Just the greeting. It wasn't even what he was addressing. There was a spirit that oozed out of him that I, I don't know how many things I repented from, from that night in morning. And it was good for me. See, brothers and sisters, you must love the body of Christ. We are all going to the same heaven. There is none that will be created for only you. I love the body of Christ. I never discriminate people. I can't see a lady now and say, oh, you are this, you are this. No. See, if you are wounded and there's something wrong in your life, if you are looking for somebody to stand at you, you have found one. Me, Joshua Selman. I'm not afraid of being controversial. I'm not one of those cowards. One of our ladies years ago was pregnant out of wedlock. You remember her? This thing ruined the lady. It was Christians. I'm not justifying it. Brothers and sisters, how believers stab themselves. They messed up this lady's life. Almost destroyed her life in an attempt to show that holiness pays. Yes, it does. But what do you do with a soldier who is wounded? Rebels don't come to God. They run away. When a man comes to God, no matter how wounded he is, he's not a rebel. Are we together now? Jesus said, he who does not have any sin should cast the first stone. When you are pointing one hand at people, three fingers are pointing back at you. I remember that lady came, she found a home. That time we used to meet in, in the campus there. Do you know a time would come whenever we are preaching, her baby would just be silent. When we get up and we start praying, she would say her baby is kicking. She found love found acceptance i used to bless that lady with money every time she was because of the shame and the reproach that believers brought to her life she said she wanted to defer i said you are not deferring you must finish and i'm going to stand with you i think a jimmy is a witness and a few people here i used to walk with that lady with her big stomach i will walk with her in front of their hostel amina and drop her there let anybody think what he wants to think. They say, the way this guy is being careful with this pregnancy, are you sure that whatever you want to think, think it? Are we together now? I will never forget. I, I was so passionate about her issue. The Lord revealed to me the day she would give birth. And I told her, I said, prepare. On a Wednesday, you are going to give birth. 
that morning she called in the morning i was so happy as if it was my child as she was giving birth i was already appearing in shika happily when she gave birth i said i want the child where is the child are you the father that's not the issue i want the child i held that child listen i prophesied to that child from the depth of my heart people were looking at me that child's destiny parents can choose to mess up but children don't choose to come give them a right to enjoy a blessed life are we together i have stood by people here in police stations oh so some person is in police station and he said they should talk to you oh this he said you are his pastor he said you are this i said what's his name i said yes i know him oh this person did a and b i said i'm coming and i will go there i will appear there ah, ah. sorry sir are you not the person koinonia yes i'm the one they are our wounded soldiers but we'll hold them to a place of victory well i'm not a coward no listen i'm encouraging you this night practice that ministry some of you need to go back to somebody and say look i left you the day i found out that you were drinking but i'm back to tell you i love you i see the way you are struggling to listen to koinonia messages i see how sincerely you have a passion to get back i'm here to help you you do that you will see the power of god in your life i never never have never will condemn anybody see let me tell you there is nobody god cannot change don't you sit down and say me i didn't drink i didn't smoke i didn't do this just keep quiet and say lord i give you all the praise during our counseling session you see muslims come people come muslims because they know that i love them and i'm friendly i don't squeeze my face as if as if i'm the person who did this and say why are you here are you not no 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 everybody jesus healed in the bible was not born again but he still healed them i love them i play with their children i'm happy i have blessed the lives of people who today who have no business nothing in return for me please i'm teaching you something that will bless you there are people who cannot come for koinonia right now because of scars in their lives and some of us are the ones who are helping to keep that scars there are roommates who would have won to jesus christ there are fathers and mothers who have done all kinds of things but we are the ones who destroy them exaggerated confrontation i even hear that in many churches it's even an, a thing of embarrassment they come and embarrass the people publicly embarrass the parents misquoting the scripture that says you should rebuke them publicly we don't even understand what god is saying whereas the person who is rebuking the guy for smoking has gold that hidden somewhere he turned it inside the cup and kept it in a fridge you would think he's zobo does zobo foam let's tell ourselves the truth and cry for the mercy of god let me tell you listen i have learned something by experience once you see somebody over talking about a little issue he's a victim of it he, that talk is to create a sense of justification believe what i'm telling you the day jesus christ will come you will be surprised to see those who are really close to him you will think it will be joshua selman with all my ministry regalia god will just go to somebody who you would have thought was an outcast because we who think we are great we are arrogant people and will not come to god but there are those who say lord in iniquity did my mother bet me from beginning i inherited it and i've worked in it have mercy upon me and god says these are the kinds of people who will find him every time i go to god i don't go with a sense of condemnation but brothers and sisters i go with a sense of gratitude ah because i know I know what the mercy of God has done in my life. Are we together? The next time you turn and you see a lady pregnant, don't start asking stupid questions. You turn and see somebody, ah, he went for a party and they injured him and he's back to God answering altar call. You say, but bros, now wow, where did you go to that they hit you like this? It's over. Learn to help people. I'm not laughing. Three errors that are stopping the unity of the body. I love people. I love you. Whenever you see me rebuke you,
you know from the depth of your heart that it is out of love i can rebuke you but when you commit the offense i will be there i wrote a song years ago the bandage is larger than the wound i'll sing it one day for you i wrote that song to help hurting people i'm concluding jesus gives a story of a samaritan woman right a, a, a good samaritan somebody was beaten by armed robbers are we together a religious person came and passed and looked at him not wanting to be unclean left a pastor came and looked at him and saw it and said no 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 no, no. i'm holy and left but then another person came a samaritan and got down on his knees and cleaned him whose wounds have you cleaned see the true picture of fatherhood is the ability to rebuke and yet cover the ability to rebuke and yet guide to tell you no 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 gulda is gulda it's not the way of god however there is a grace that can help you i am willing to help you i'll never forget years ago when a lady developed like a bipolar problem she was seeing things she was supposedly praying in tongues for two hours they took her to security office they called her pastor he kept giving all kinds of excuses i refused to come the lady i mean she would literally fight with everybody bah, 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 praying supposedly overnight like for two days non-stop i just somebody she doesn't even attend our meetings then somebody who used to attend the meeting called on me i said i'm coming i was at the security office i just got there and they said i should write statement i said for what I'm, allow me to find out what is going on first i will take any embarrassment if it is for you i will take any embarrassment if it's for the kingdom let me be controversial misunderstand me the most important thing is that no man will judge us on that day when we stand before him god will see let me tell you the day we stand before god you will be surprised to see the people who will enter heaven and you'll be surprised to see those who will be said depart from me ye workers of iniquity you will see somebody you have concluded upon who later when you died gave his life to christ and god used him who would have said saul will be the one to bless people who would have said so listen live your life with eternity in view do not be afraid to stand for the kingdom do not be a man of values when people are bleeding be there we're rounding up god told me if we can address these three errors there will be no reason for criticism again there will be no reason for anything strange there are people who wait for men of god to fall that's why prayer department and the rest pray for i mean they are waiting they are waiting somebody who does not know anything about finances goes to write an article about a pastor and says somebody gave him money what is your business if you don't understand kingdom finances you don't get up and now begin to talk and run your mouth and say all kinds of rubbish oh the tv ministry he is doing he is doing it out of this and that and that let somebody just appear now and just put a baby and say exposed Joshua Selman has a three-year-old. This beautiful lady is his daughter. And he will say, you know, uh, my conscience, the same you, the same you who is looking at me right now, the same you who is receiving miracles, the same you who is a man of God with envelopes and kneeling down, they were the same people who said crucify him. Please reduce it to keys. Let's sing one song and close this night. There's a song in my spirit. Play, 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 Mike. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all will see Jesus, we'll sing. 
and shout the victory. I have a version. When we all get to heaven, what a day of surprises that will be. Because you will see people you never felt will make heaven. You see people who you look at them and think because they are controversial, they are not of God. You will see them stand at the gates of heaven and you will watch the way the gates will be shut against many who stand with their self-righteousness killing the body of Christ. Rejoiner, when you read his book, The Final Quest, it was a revelation of the operation of the body of Christ. Please read the book if you can get it. I read it years ago and it blessed me. And when he was shown the vision of the body of Christ, he saw so many people climbing a ladder and he saw others pulling them down. And they were Christians who were pulling their soldiers. He found out that whenever any believer had an issue, many people came and were stabbing him with a knife and they were all Christians. May it never be through your life that somebody will miss heaven because something about an exaggerated, I'm not teaching you to not confront error, but it in itself is an error to move beyond certain things and destroy a man's ministry. A prophet went to a church and saw by revelation that a man of God's wife was sleeping with somebody in the church. What will a wise prophet do? Will you not come down after the meeting, you call the woman and say, Mama, please don't be offended. This is what I saw. I can pray with you. I can help you. He just carried his big mouth and ran it in the church and said, what I'm seeing is a surprise. Well, I did that, that, and that. Who is by the name ABC? People clapped. Ah, Mama, you got it right. Who is by the name so so person? They clapped. They said, two of you, you know what you are doing. And he just tore that ministry into two. You think that's the will of God? Rise up, let's pray. Jesus prayed a prayer and said that they may be one. Three prayer points according to the teaching very quickly and we're done. Lift your hands to heaven and thank him for this word. The word will bless you in the day you need it. This word came from the Lord for you and by extension for the body of Christ. There are people listening to this message right now and he's healing them literally literally healing them give him thanks say father thank you for your word every moment in your presence is a time of transformation every time in your presence is a time of change you have given me wisdom you have given me grace first prayer point and i like you to pray seriously i like you to pray and say lord every revelation in my life that is an error that is already leading me the way of apostasy. Reveal it to me and bring me back on track. Lift your voice and pray. Please pray. Make sure you are praying inside and all the overflows. Make sure you are praying. Everything I have held on to. Everything I have held on to. Capable of destroying me doctrines of demons doctrines of demons persuasions that look spiritual but are not consistent with the patterns of the kingdom open my eyes oh God open my eyes oh God so that I will not keep the body of Christ in bondage doctrines that have kept the church poor doctrines that have kept the church conscious of demons and spirits as against the strength and the might of Christ. Doctrines that have made the church powerless. Doctrines that have caused men to depend on the strength of the flesh as against the power of the cross. Lord, take it away from my life. Bring me to the way everlasting. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. I like you to pray. 
and say lord where i need to speak out for you i receive grace to not let my ego make me watch others in error go to hell when i can address it that 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 self destructive attitude of keeping my ego and allowing somebody go to hell that state of indifference i don't want to be controversial so i rather allow people in their error than to stand and teach truth lift your voice and say help me help me help me give me grace and give me courage are you praying koinonia grace and courage grace and courage the bible says we all like sheep have turned astray every man has gone his own way grace 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 to draw people away from the gates of hell unashamedly regardless of the controversy that it will bring in your life regardless of how misunderstood you will be pray hallelujah before we take the third prayer point hold your hands together we're going to sing that song though we are many we are one body we are one body in Christ though we are many we are one body we are one body in Christ lift your voice and sing it one time I don't care whether you are Catholic, Anglican, Mountain of Fire, Presbyterian, Pentecostal. We may differ in different things. But it is very clear that the intention of the kingdom is that we may be one. Oh, we are many. We are one body. We are one body in Christ. For the last time now, lift your voice and sing. Though we are many, yes, we are one body. We are one body in Christ. Though we are many, we are one body. We are one body in Christ. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, Put such love for the body of Christ in me. Not love for koinonia. Love for the body of Christ. Every denomination, regardless of what I agree with or what I disagree with. Every denomination, regardless of what I believe about their doctrines or not, is too small a reason. Too small a reason to fight. Too small a reason to tear down people. Pray. Lord, I love your body. Every denomination, regardless of their errors, regardless of the areas of imperfections, they may have made mistakes. They may hold on to ideologies I do not agree with. But I love the body of Christ. I love the body of Christ. My God is not only the God of Koinonia. He's the God of the body. And I'm telling you, ministries may make mistakes. We may all have our shortcomings. But the church is marching on. Regardless of the mistakes, regardless of the imperfections, the church is marching on. And the Bible says that I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. Hallelujah. We are going to pray in one minute. Pray for every denomination, every pastor, and every wounded soldier in the body. I like you to say, Lord, I repent from adding to their pain. It was with my mouth I spread the news that destroyed them. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I pray. I pray. The same mouth I 
I want to use to prophesy and speak to destinies I have torn down pastors torn down churches torn down men of God destroyed wounded soldiers lift your voice and pray and say Lord I repent in sackcloth and ashes I repent in sackcloth and ashes are you praying I love your body I will stand with those who are wounded I will stand with those who are abused like the good Samaritan when others are condemning them and running away I will reach out with a helping hand I will stake my reputation to see people restored back The power of God will come on some of you. You will run out here by the influence of the Holy Ghost. No man will stop you by the influence of the Holy Ghost. It's the fire of God. It will happen to some people from outside. Outside, the fire of God is falling and even inside. But I want you to know, as I begin to chant in the spirit, there's no hiding place for any devil tonight. Lord let your power move every power every force of darkness I release the fire of the Holy Ghost let it fall I release the fire leave them, leave them leave them ushers leave them alone you will come out by the power of the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost will bring you out from your seat. The Holy Ghost will bring you out from your seat. The Holy Ghost will bring you out from your seat. The Holy Ghost will bring you out. Hallelujah. Now, there are some of you that see men come to sleep with you in dreams and oppress you. They call it spirit husband and spirit wife. I don't care what the name is. Right now, there is fire. Lift your hands, everybody. Responsible for failure. Responsible for delay. Listen. Listen. At the count of three, the Lord showed me in a vision. This one will hit many people. Tonight is a night of deliverance. Many of you do not know. This is what is responsible for your setback. I already see angels standing in front and outside. Listen, it's going to, you know, you will not be able to stand it. It's a fire. Are you ready now? At the count of three, some of you will not finish shouting Jesus. Lord, I pray. You said if I can speak it, you will do it. I stand under this apostolic unction. Every manifestation of the devil at the count of three. One, two, three. Go for Russia. Regressio. Go for Yeta. Yeah, 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 yeah
Son of God made manifest that he may destroy, put to an end. The power of God is still falling. I tell you, devils are under major attack. But Paul's attack, the angels are walking. Don't wait till you fall down. Receive. Don't wait till you fall down. Has nothing to do with falling. Yay! was a sound that I had in the spirit. That's why I'm singing it. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Bring her. It's time for her deliverance. I command you to come. I command you to come. Don't force her. She will come by the power of the Holy Ghost. Come. Come and stand here. Yeah. 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 Listen. A scripture entered my spirit. It said, how awe-inspiring are your ways. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemy submit when light enters you it makes you a madman tonight is a night of major deliverance major 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 hallelujah leave her alone Stand there. Stand there. Yeah. 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 Listen. Listen to me. Everybody look at me. Please. The word of God is not a lie. God cannot be joking with you. Anytime you take your Bible, I told God, my life and this ministry will be a demonstration of the book of Acts. It's the Acts of the Holy Ghost. Sir King Salama, Salama. It's called the Prince of Peace. Salama. Hallelujah. Leave her alone. Be still, stand in one place now. Your time in this body is over. Your time in this body is over. Now, in the mighty name of Jesus, out of her now. Come out of her. Out of her. 
out come out the fire of the holy ghost he make his angels spirits and his ministers flames leave her now she's free Salama, 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 Your time is up. This is Koinonia. The mighty name of Jesus. Come out now. Out of her. Yeah, boy. Listen. Listen. The Lord is showing me an arrow coming from outside this country. This is what affected this boy. This thing has tied this gentleman's life. Leave him. Leave him. Come back here. Come back here. Now. Sorry, everybody. Come back here. Many of you, listen. Many of you do not know that wickedness is real. You have allowed films to, distort, to, to spoil your mind. If you don't take, I tell you, whatever is stopping, one of the things I will be doing tonight is breaking the curse of marital delay. Oh, the devil, it will answer tonight. Look at, it's already happening. Come out. Come out. This guy has a violent spirit. A violent spirit. The mighty name of Jesus. Every lecker hole you have over this body. I challenge you right now. You will leave him. The fire of God is against you. It's time for you to go out. Out of him. Out. Shall the captives be delivered and the prey be taken from the mighty. But thus saith the Lord. Let her go right now. Thou foul devil, come out, come out. So pray, take a pariada baladala. Sarkin Salama, Salama, Salama. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you what the Lord is showing me about this gentleman. This guy, listen, listen, please. This guy has a very, very colorful destiny. But do you know what I just saw? From his head to his toe. How many of you have read the story of Lazarus? That's what I saw. And he was tied with snakes from his head to his toe. This is what I'm seeing right now. See? Do you know that the challenges many of you are going through is not ordinary? It's because nobody has told you. But tonight there is a God to set you free. This is spirit husband. This is what is stopping this lady from getting married. Out. Come out of her. Out now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your time is over. I'm seeing an army officer. I'm army officer. In the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out. Shekataba. Brentoko Prikata. Out of her right now. This is the spirit of lust. Go prosketaliada. Be gone. There is no hiding. I tell you something. See, the mistake the devil made was to allow you come in here tonight. 
I don't care whether you are wherever. If you came here tonight, if except God lied to us in the Bible, but if he told us the truth, there will be a performance in your life tonight. Sirkin Salama. Come out. Out of her right now. Salama. Salama. Listen. Let me tell you what happens in meetings like this. Some of you, because of this demon spirit, the one to start pushing you to go out or to run away, you, you better stay and let God help you. The devil is a liar tonight. Are you listening to me? Okay, I didn't finish with this guy. Watch what will happen to this brother. He's not looking at me. Oh. He's not looking at me. Just calm down. Stay in one place. I'm not speaking to him. Don't, don't worry. Stay in one place. You can't go anywhere. You come here. This is a, the head of a snake I'm seeing. Right to his foot. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Sets you free right now from your head to your toe. I lose you. I lose you. He's going to cough out something outside. Take him outside. He's going to go and cough out something. Sarakin Salama 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 Come out of her right now in the name of Jesus. Devil of darkness. Sarakin Salama there's someone that has a problem a heart problem heart problem that was your request heart something in your heart i don't know what it is the lord is showing me please remember i told you don't waste our time please there's a lot of things we have to do this night heart something pertaining your heart if you are still thinking about it, you are not the person. Please, quickly. Salama, 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 Hallelujah. Ah, ah. See, there is a lady. Now, don't feel embarrassed at what I'm about to say. You see snakes in your bathroom ladies bathroom who is that person come out come out this has been an issue you have not shared it with people snakes you are you see it who is the person please salama salama yeah you are not the only one no you are not the only one this is the problem god god is ready to deliver you look this is a family are you listening to me this is not th this is an apostolic ministry so there is we are here we are a family when god is mentioning your case forget about what what issue of shame issue of shame is out of the way hallelujah what's wrong with your heart asthma, asthma. is asthma really a heart this one i'm seeing a heart problem but I'll pray for you. Be healed right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed. Listen. I'm going to pray for you people. God is doing it. Come out of her now. Out. Come out of her now. Devil of darkness. The time is up. Just hold my hands with both of your hands. The fire of God will hold it as tight as you can. It cannot stand, it will leave you. 
because you are destined for greatness once I see it in the spirit it must go for light cannot hide in darkness aha I see you now out go go kapotoka reketaria mambroskote reketeria daba boseketalia out come out of her out of her right now sarkin salama look at me two things god is doing hold my hands hold it do you believe you want god to set you free sarkin salama look at my eyes you just look at my eyes try to look at my eyes look at my eyes devil of darkness go there is no hiding for there is a name that is above every other name what did she come out for the same thing why were you afraid don't be afraid eh? you hear hold my hands hold my hands both of you Look at me. Can you shout Jesus as loud as you can? Go ahead. Salama. You are free. Salama. Salama. Salama, yeah. Be delivered right now. I set you free. Now. Do you know what is happening to this lady? If I tell you, some of you will not believe. For every shout that she's making is demons that are going. When she's done, she'll be quiet. <laughs> now, leave her. Fire upon you right now out of her this lady has a great destiny this is a snake this is what i'm seeing this is a whole snake mighty snake the lord is against you let her go now name that is above all names hold my hands my dear hold my hands no I'm not speaking to her don't worry come hold my hands I'm not speaking to her don't worry you people do not understand spiritual things you are spiritual people here come hold my hands the demon knows what it means what I'm saying Salama, yeah. Salama. Hurry up, please save our time. We, we don't have much time. Salama. Hold my hands. Don't tap it. Hold it. Out now. Salama, yeah. Salama. Watch the way this demon will leave. Come, see. Listen. You will go on your knees. You will bow to the king of kings and go. Simple. You will go on your knees, bow to the king, and off you go. Sir King Salama. 
Salama, Salama, yeah. Listen, this is not jamboree. As I see my father do it, don't go and try it. You will die for nothing. This is not child's play. Hallelujah. Don't you think we are just, no, I'm not one of those ministers. I can't come and waste your time. God is too serious. Are you listening to me? Now lift your hands. Many of you do not know. Listen. Please, now is the time to stand both for yourself. If you are a lady here, there is no reason why you should not be lifting your hands. Marriage is a blessing. It's not a curse. As I, as I talk, as I talk, because you see, I, I see a sword of fire leaving my mouth. I want to break certain demonic things. Many of you don't know what is stopping you and your loved ones. For some of you, it's a role in your family. Many people have told you nothing. Just, just hope one day. No, we don't do that nonsense in this place. Now, faith is. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. Listen. The moment we shout the name Jesus, some of you listen. You will testify. Whatever is happening to you here will locate all your loved ones around. Listen. The reason is because there are ordinances of darkness that are keeping some of you. Your parents took you to places in the name of protection and that devil will not let you go. The Lord instructed me to do this. Hallelujah. If you are here or your loved ones, there has been delay. Men come, they go. Or maybe you have a child and you're thinking you will not marry. That devil is a liar this night. Are you listening to me? So don't just stand for yourself alone. Don't say it does not concern me. Don't be foolish. Hallelujah. Are you ready now? You will see the demonstration of the power of the spirit. Kai, because see, I'm seeing blood. I'm seeing blood dripping on the ground. Let me tell you what this means. There are covenants and ordinances. This is what the Lord is showing me. But my Bible says the blood of Jesus speaketh better things. Better things. At the shout of the name Jesus. The demons responsible for any marital delay. God, you said if I speak it, you will do it. Right now, at the count of three, it will hit some of you in a mighty way. Inside and outside. Lord, let nobody be spared. One, two, three. is setting you free where you are yes 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 ordinances i'm seeing altars on fire altars on fire altars on fire altars on fire i set them if i be a servant of god right now i set every demonic altar on fire It will burn tonight. Ko protokoto, 
Reke Foko to pre So pre to hopu Sheke pre kate Tempos kote Reke tempos Sheke te Atas Atas I release you. I release your family. I release you inside and outside. I release you. I release you into your marital destiny. The curse is lifted. I release your sisters. I release your brothers. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. I release you. I release you. I release you. Just receive, I release you. I release you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. I got a text from someone. I mean, they brought someone who was sick. Who was that person? I can't remember now. A sick person. No, they sent, I remember they sent me a text that they would bring the sick person. Please save our time for God's sake. We're still going to minister to the sick. Hallelujah. Let that lady go free. Now devil. Let her go free now. Let her go free. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. Let her go free right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Everybody say I receive. Yes, it's happening to you. Now, please listen. I want to pray for terminal diseases terminal diseases all kinds of terminal diseases please you brought someone or you came here with a terminal disease come out quickly terminal only terminal diseases please let's save time can we do that god is locating people there are some of you god god is already terminal diseases please come out quickly 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 i beg you if you can run run save time please please as you come out here say lord it comes i hope you know what terminal diseases are healing rain cry unto god wave that sickness bye bye because it's going forever i'm not afraid Hallelujah. Now all of you because of time. Listen. Can you just hold your hands together? 
if you can i'll just minister to you at once please if you came here believing god then know that it will end hallelujah there is an angel standing here and there is an angel of the Lord standing here please listen when we begin to minister to the sick if we call a case and you came with the person please make sure you come especially if the person cannot speak English for our mothers so that we can hurry up okay the power of God will come upon some of you but it really doesn't matter that devil is going right now the spirit is called the spirit of infirmity hallelujah after a country you will say i am healed when that happens it's like electricity it will pass with power all around this place are you ready now one two three Go, Poto! Be free! Go, 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 go! Coming out is his go! Go, 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 go! By the fire of the Holy Ghost! Go, go! Go! Come back with testimonies! Come back with the testimony by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Come back with the testimony. 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 I speak to you. All of you come back with a testimony come back with a testimony hallelujah say I'm healed go back to your seats you can check yourselves please make sure you check yourself Go to the hospital if you need. I know someone with HIV was healed. Anyone who has been, anyone with any CG, see the power of God is, is breaking from inside. Some of you are outside here, you are not receiving. People inside are receiving and they are leaving you. Listen, anyone with any academic issue that Senate has refused to answer, between now and the next 14 days, I command them to answer. Anyone who is at the verge of probation, listen, anyone at the verge of probation, I pick you from where you are and I bring you back as a student in this school. Yeah. Hallelujah. Mm, thank you, Jesus. I want to pray for you. Any course you did not fail, listen, See, believe oh, any course you did not fail, but you went to the board and you saw F. I change it. I said I change it. Man to kapala kuzita. I change it. Kato pratishi. I change it. Hallelujah. Any man, I don't care who, who is molesting and oppressing people in, every, in any department or any faculty, whether supervisor or whoever, I instruct them to begin to favor you now. Yeah. Hallelujah. Now listen carefully. Those inside, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I'm standing out because... I want those outside to appreciate this meeting. Now, I'm going to pray for you. Some of you, I'm seeing chains on the heads of... We're dealing with academic issues now. 
Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to lift your hands. Many of you will feel like fire burning your head. If that wait, I'm going to count three. When that happens to you, listen, this one will affect a lot of people. There are some of you that are first class materials. But because of this wicked thing, you were excellent in secondary school. It's not that you are bad. Let me tell you, those days will be restored. Because listen, listen, listen. I'm going to pray for you. Hallelujah. When I count three, inside and outside, with all your heart, shout, I receive. For some of you, that will be the last thing you will remember. Something will happen to you that will change your life. Are you ready now? Please, with all faith. One, two, three. Receive it now. Receive it. Take it. I restore you. Take it, take it, take it. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Take it. Inside, inside, take. Receive it inside. Receive it inside. Outside, receive it. Receive it inside. Take it inside. Take it inside. At the back, inside. The angel of the Lord is touching people. At the back, outside here. At the back, take it. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Many of you will go back now and your academics will surprise you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Now listen. 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 I want all of you to think about a cause that has been troubling you because I'm about to make it to bow now. Just listen, listen. I'm walking as God is just... Just think of it in your mind just once and bring it under the Lordship of Christ because I'm about to open, I'm about to tell it to open up for you. Are you ready? It's already happening to this sister. Now listen. Every department, every faculty in Amadou Bello University, that course that is threatening you right now, when I shall bow, many of you feel as if your head will open up. Are you ready now? In the name of Jesus, bow! 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 In the name of Jesus, bow! Bow! In faculty of medicine, bow! Faculty of engineering, bow! Environmental design, bow! Education, bow! Social sciences bow. Sciences bow. All the faculties in Congo bow. Every other faculty bow. Anyone with a missing script. Problem of missing script. I stand tonight under this unction. And I command, wherever your paper is, where, except you didn't write that exam, wherever your paper is, just as the donkey of Kish was found, I command that paper to be found now. <laughs> Hallelujah. For all those whose assessments have been bad, listen, for this exam, for all those whose assessment have been bowed, have been, uh, are bad, in the name of Jesus, I release makeup test, makeup assignment in the name of Jesus. May the Lord touch the hearts of the lecturers, no matter how hardened they are. Hallelujah. All of you shout, I will excel. Say it one more time, I will, I will excel. Say, excellence is my portion. Excellence. Say, I refuse failure. I refuse failure. Say, I refuse, I refuse failure. I take you from pass, from third class. I take you into 
some of you are, are trusting let me tell you any class you need to step up i step you up right now i know some of you are doubting do not doubt the creative power of god's word it created the heavens and earth i said i step you up. jesus hallelujah hallelujah for all those whether you or your loved one they've been writing jam after jam wayek after wayek you are looking for papers it has refused to come if god be god if there is a god in this place listen those of you who are about to whether jam whether de you have papers that you need to make up i stand as a servant of god i give you the paper you are looking for Those writing jam, I prophesy, write your last jam in the name of Jesus. Those writing whether wayek or whatever to make up. And there are some of you who are about graduating, but the papers you have are causing trouble. And right now you already have problem at the Senate. Mercy, 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 you must graduate. You must graduate. Let something be done in your life that has not been done in this school. God is visiting people. Thank you, Jesus. God is opening people's files, I tell you. God is visiting people. Don't stand there doubting. God will bless others and leave you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything called mental blockage or exam fever, all this nonsense that comes on people you will read and even do tutorial for others in the name of jesus that spirit that makes you to forget things in the exam hall that you will only remember after you finish right right now i cast that spirit in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus you cannot read like a slave. I forbid you from reading like a slave. In the mighty name of Jesus. I tell you, God is visiting people in a mighty way this night. God is visiting people in a mighty way. Hallelujah. In your academics, I don't care how bad it has been. I don't care what has happened from today step into that that dream you saw that your your results has never looked like it you have been seeing it enter the reality of it many of you have dreams you see four points but you write exam and see one point i cost that devil in the name of jesus ah yeah 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 I tell you God is visiting people hallelujah now please everybody who is sick you came here with any kind of disease I'm about to rebuke it right now please we don't have time our time is fast spent but God is going to visit inside are you still with me are you still with me inside now those outside here I want I want to pray everybody lay your hands anywhere is hurting if it's a part of your body you cannot lay your hands on lay your hands on your chest whether fibroids whether growths whether cancer whether blindness whether deafness whether lameness whatever it is i don't care if it followed you here it made a mistake because it's going to leave you right now are you listening to me some of you what you call sickness is actually oppression because I see that there are many ladies with all kinds of sicknesses. People think you are careless. You are not. That devil will leave you. Hallelujah. Some of you have HIV. It's not like you slept around. You too, you don't know how it came. Some of you have all kinds of cancerous growth. There are people they've told you you, you cannot. I, I, after I finish this, I'm going to specially pray for barren people. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, listen, all of you inside, lift your hands. Lift your hands for that healing. 
I'm going to count three and the power of God will begin to come on sick people. Just those inside. Those inside. Hallelujah. The angels of God are moving inside. I see them. At the count of three inside. I tell you many sicknesses will disappear right now. The moment I count three, just take that hand and lay it where it's hurting. And start receiving your miracle. Are you ready? One, two, three. Receive right now. Take it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Now lay your hands there. Receive your healing right now. Receive your healing right now. Many of you are feeling like electricity. It's the healing anointing of the Holy Spirit. It's going through you. Begin to do what you couldn't do before. Those outside now, lay your hands there. Are you ready to receive? That devil will not follow you. Now in the name of Jesus, those outside here, receive. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Growth disappear. Terminal diseases go. Asthma go. Asthma go. Every deaf ear be open now. Every blind eyes be open. If your hair and one leg is shorter than the other, let the other one grow out now to equal sizes. In the name of Jesus. Every lady problem, every woman problem, irregular menstruation ends now. 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 The fire of God is burning. I tell you, the fire of God is burning. Every lump in the breast disappears now. Disappears now. Disappears now. Every growth in any part of your body. Every growth. I cause that growth to its root right now in the name of Jesus. I cause that growth to its root right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Any pain in any area of your body, I rebuke it. Any trace of mental disorder, whether for you or for your loved ones, wherever they are and if you are here, let the power of God touch you now. Let the fire of God touch you now. Let the fire of God touch you now. Shake it, Kapa. Reke te koto to 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 baka. Ziko to riapata. Zeke te. Let them go. Let them go. Out, 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 out. Every kind of mental problem, whether it has manifested or not, out, 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 out. Go, go. Every curse, every covenant. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, any woman here, or your sister, or you, who has been barren, please connect. Now is the time. We want to release miracle children right now. I don't know whether they have been barren for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. The Bible says, and God opened the womb of Hannah. Listen, I want you to stand. You are a lady here, you lived a promiscuous life. And then you found out that, okay, some things happened. Maybe you lost your womb or something. God is about to give you a new one right now. I don't care what the problem is. Hallelujah. Praise God. I want to curse barrenness and impotency. Low sperm count. All this demonic infertility, whatever. I don't care. If it has a name, it's going to answer this night. Are you ready? Everybody inside, make sure you are with me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Whether for you or for your loved ones, right now, my Father, in the name that is above all names, lift your hands. I pray. There are some of you, listen, some of you do not know that there are already projections of barrenness on you. It's just that you have not married yet. So don't say until you are married. The devil is wicked. God brought you to set you free. You'll be surprised. Hallelujah. Inside and outside, you're going to shout Jesus. And God is going to visit some people. There are some of you, God will visit you not for you, but on behalf of other family members. And I tell you, you will see people take in. Are you listening to me? Do you believe this? 
at the count of three i want you to shout jesus and you'll see what will happen are you ready thank you holy ghost at the count of three let your power move across inside and outside are you ready this will happen to many people because there is the curse of barrenness and standing for anybody at the count of three shout it with all your heart are you ready one two three Take it, take it, take it, take it. Supokoto, rekete keriata, barinas, go, 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 inside, inside, fire, fire is falling inside, outside, fire is falling. The cause of barinas, tokoto peketa, for your loved ones, every barren woman, receive children. Receive children. Receive children. Any impotency, whatever it is, no sperm count, infertility, whatever it is in the name of Jesus, I curse it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Please stay with me. hallelujah i want to pray and prophesy we want to talk on the issue of finances right now everybody stand up and take this very seriously We apologize for the lightning i believe that maybe some hitches here and there we'll soon round up hallelujah while this is happening please let's have all the prayer requests outside here look at me see listen look up the secret of financial blessing is in your giving life are you listening to me i don't care what you are doing the secret if you are not a giver whatever you are seeing now is only a deceit it won't last are you listening to me i want to minister to you how many of you know that god is not glorified in anybody's poverty how many of you are tired of the situation of some of your family members you know you know what uh, some of your parents one job here two months they've driven them away this is a curse the problem is that Pastors like sugarcoating things. They just say, oh, it's well. There is a difference between faith and foolishness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, I want to challenge you. Everybody, please hold a seat. Bring out a seat. You know us in this place. If you don't believe, don't bring it out. I want to break the curse of poverty. Don't you think, please, I, I, if you have something, share with your neighbor. Please, please, please. Bring out a seat. Don't murmur and grumble. Just keep your seat back, please. We are a blessed people. We are a blessed people. Look at me. Look at me, sister. Look at me. Tell her to look at me. Look at me. Just tell her to look at me. Don't worry. Leave her. Look at me. Come out of her. Devil of darkness. Leave you alone. Praise God. See, while I was praying for this meeting, I saw this. Please listen. I saw a particular family. This is a revelation that the Lord showed me. And I saw them around the river. Hallelujah. Around the river with 500 naira. I don't know. I'm not going to mention them so that you don't think maybe I'm talking about a church or a ministry. We don't do that. But I saw some people, seeming men of God or whatever, around that they were trying to do something about financial prosperity. You see that? They killed chicken. They killed one other animal, I think goat or something. And they were invoking things on the person. And the Lord said, save this family. I saw it in the vision that the Lord showed me. There is nothing we will do here that God did not instruct. Hallelujah. Please, if you do not have a revelation of this, keep your money. You won't go to hell. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bring out something and connect it. I want to pray for you. You will lift it up. 
Hallelujah. Inside and outside, just lift it up. People are oppressed. Ah, people are oppressed. Listen, just lift it. Many of you, the fire will fall on you and your sacrifice. It will fall on you. See, it's poverty I want to attack. It's a spirit. Don't be mistaken about it. It's already happening to people. Everybody lift it. Please, make sure there is a seed. It will be your contact. Clash the symbol for me, please. At the clash of the symbol. Are you ready now? My father, I pray. It's your desire to prosper us. People have suffered. Families have suffered. Right now, spirit of poverty. Go. 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 Keep the offering up. Go. 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 For your family, I bought that spirit of poverty. It's a cause. Leave God's people. Poverty causes laziness. Poverty causes lack of failure. Lift your seed. It's your sacrifice. My God and my King. If God be God, I pray. Poverty be broken. In the name of Jesus. Be broken. So protocoto rekete kete rekoto preketika jobless go 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 Hallelujah. To me, my people made a covenant with me by sacrifice. I command doors of uncommon, unusual, inexplainable and sharp prosperity. Let it be open now for you and for your family. That joblessness ends now. Mm, God is visiting families. God is visiting families. Any contract that has been revoked right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, I return it back to your loved ones. The curse of poverty be broken. Don't say I'm a student. Become rich in the name of Jesus. Become rich, blessed, wealthy. I program your spirit as surely as the Lord lives. God is visiting people. Twenty-one angels standing in this place. I don't know what I'm seeing. I'm seeing it, the whole of this place. The whole of this place. Lift your hands because God is about to visit you. Some of you, it's not just financial issues. God will join everything and visit you. As soon as I shout, receive it. Right from here, down to this row. This is what God is showing me. The power of God will come in a strong way. Lift your hands, all of you. In the name of Jesus, at the count of two. Just two. The wind will blow. One, two. Let it blow right now. Take it. 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 Don't wait till you fall. This has nothing to do with falling. It has nothing to do with falling. Receive by faith. Hallelujah. The Lord is visiting people. I don't know what the case is, but when I touch you, just know God is visiting you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The angels of the Lord are pointing people to me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Aha. Now, out of her. Come out. 
come out of her. Shekotopa. Your time is up. Your spirit out. Out now. Pain go. Come out. Supokotopekata lekata. Dombretons kebanda kriata. Lord, visit them. Ushers, help me. Visit them. Please help them. Help them. Ushers, so that they don't fall down one another. Visit them. Visit them. Zidaba. God is visiting your mother right from the States. Oh, no, in UK. God is visiting her right now. Hallelujah. Madam. God is about to locate you. Stand up, please. Stand up. Your time of breakthrough has come. Come and stand here, please. I don't know you, but look at me. Three things the Lord is going to do for you. Number one, God is going to change your financial story in a way that will surprise you. Number two, who is sick? Somebody is seriously sick in your family. It's my husband. I have. It's your husband. Because this is what I'm seeing. This is what is sugar? Sugar. Yes, yes. What is sugar? What is sugar? I'm hearing sugar. Diabetes. Diabetes. Yes. Do, do I know him? Have I met your husband? I'm hearing sugar. The Holy Spirit is telling me sugar. Diabetes. Is that correct? I'm, I'm BP. BP. I'm BP. Look at me. The third thing God is going to do. Are, are you building? Are you building? Madam, look at me. Are you Yes. The Lord is saying that building will be completed. Yeah. These three things. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Because you have lifted this seed. Many of you, see. Father, visit her right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Visit families by the power of the Holy Ghost. Visit families. In the name of Jesus. See, I tell you, I'm not going to touch everybody. But if I do touch you, just know that God has visited you. It doesn't matter what the situation is. It will bow to the name of Jesus Christ. Bring this sister for me, this one. Yes, come. Did I lay hands on you? It's time for God to visit you. Are you listening to me? Take it. It's over. Whatever it is, it's over. Right now. This fair lady, come. Please. I don't know what is it. Come. Don't see. You people should not be angry at God. God, it, I must not touch you. Do you understand? You can see that we don't have all of the time. Eh? Look at me. I'm going to end a lot of things in your life. Seven things in total. One by one, God is going to show you. Five of them. You wrote... You wrote seven prayer points. Yes, sir. How many prayer points did you? Seven. seven. The Lord says seven things is visiting you and is bringing on. Was I there when you wrote it? Seven things you wrote. Seven things the Lord is visiting them. Lord, that is it. It ends right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Seven things the Lord is visiting you. Somebody wrote 13 prayer points. 13. 13. 13. You wrote 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 13. Who is that? Come. You are the one. Come. Was I there when you were writing it? 13 prayer points. 13 prayer points. What did you write about your father? My family. Yes. Peace in my family. Peace in your family. There is fight. Was I there when you wrote it? What did you write about the issue of money? Last week when I went home, my sister was complaining that there is... Because I'm seeing the Lord is showing me your prayer points. That's why I'm reading it to you. Was I there? There's no money. You went home. Even transport to come back. Follow somebody. Somebody gave me a lift. This is, I, I, God said I should do to prove to you that this is not just guesswork. My God, in the name of Jesus, locates this lady. Your situation ends once and for all. Regina, 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 Regina. Who is Regina? Regina. Ah. No, Regina. Don't miss your miracle. You are Regina. You. Ah. No, this Regina is here. Your name is Regina. Where is your mother? She's in Lagos. What's wrong with her? I don't know. Pray for your mother. Huh? Because this is an attack I'm seeing on her. Huh? This is an attack I'm seeing on her. Be careful. 
Don't let any lecturer talk stories and ask you to come and visit him in the night. Does it make sense to you? Yes, sir. Does it make sense to you? Believe it. Huh? And then get into God with all your heart. Are you listening to me? I want to pray for you. This lackadaisical Christian attitude become a genuine Christian right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Grace to pray. Grace. Taiwo, God is visiting your mother. Just look at me. God is visiting your mother. Lord, visit her in the name of Jesus Christ. Right from here. Just as a point of contact, God is touching her in Lagos. Visit her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Visit her. This, this girl, eh? Bring this lady crying. Lord, end this captivity in the name of Jesus. This lady's family do a lot of diabolic things. Are you listening to me? And they have put they have put things in this girl as a medium. This girl you are seeing, she's not the person you are seeing standing here. Hmm? This girl is very old. She's not as young as you are seeing. As in, I mean, in the spirit realm, I'm seeing somebody that is up to 800 years old. Hallelujah. Are you saying? Look at look at this. Bring her. This is what is wrong. They, they invoke spirits of ancestors into this girl. Come and stand here. Because they did it in such a way. Listen. They did it in such a way. And this is the invocation. That no matter how much you are a man of God, you will not see it. This is what they did. Look at. I've seen it. I'm seeing it in the spirit. Look at. This is why this cry is happening. They, they programmed it. I don't know how it is. Many men of God have attended to this lady. They didn't see it. I don't know why. Because as I'm standing now, I'm seeing a tree. This is a tree I'm seeing. A very tall tree. Keep quiet. This lady, you see, she doesn't even know if this lady gets angry, she can beat even five guys put together. Are you listening to me? She, 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 she will, I mean, beat you and put you on the ground that you will cry. Even her, right from a small age, she has been seeing this strange power. This is not normal. I need to rebuke that. Some of you are like that. You just think it's your family. You beat all your classmates in nursery school. Beat all your classmates. In, you are happy about it. Hallelujah. I have to set this girl free. I'm seeing rings on her legs, rings on her hands, uh, ring on her eyes, even on her eyes here. What kind of nonsense is this rubbish thing? Hmm? Keep quiet. This noisy spirit. You will go out now in the mighty name of Jesus. Hmm? Keep quiet. Keep quiet. Huh? Two of us won't be talking. You are going to leave. There is a legal access that is given to you. But the Bible says the captives of the mighty shall be delivered. And listen, leave her. Please leave her. Don't hold her. Look at me. Listen. Behave yourself right now. I'm going to rebuke this some it will create a ripple effect on all our family members because they mentioned their names as they were killing chicken this is what i'm seeing one by one they will mention their names and kill chicken leave her leave her leave her leave her come back just leave her she will come back by herself this thing is more than 800 years this is what i'm telling you am i wasting your time Am I wasting your time? Leave her, leave her. 
When she's done, she'll come and stand here. These are demonic things. Don't be distracted by all this drama. Let's concentrate on what God is doing, please. Mama, come. Come and stand here. Your time of visitation has come. I don't know what you came here for. Eh? Your time of... What did you come here for? You are barren. Is that... Yes, sir. You are barren. How many years? 13 years. I'm seeing one and three. Mm -hmm. How many years? 13 years. 13 years. You have been barren. Your, your, your situation has come to an end. Yeah. Hallelujah. Mm. Lay your hands on your stomach. What did the doctors tell you is in your stomach? Nothing. They will do scan. Nothing. But you are feeling movement in your body. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. In the night when you are sleeping, it will be as if a man wants to sleep with you. Yes, sir. A man comes to sleep yes, and it has even affected your relationship. Yes, sir. Eh? You don't even have affection for him. Yes, yes. Do you know me? No. Have you ever seen me? No. Your time of freedom has come this night. Because this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a stone, a stone inside your stomach. You used to have pain when you sleep. Sharp pain. This is a stone I'm seeing. Hmm? This thing is a demonic thing. Lay your hands. I open this womb right now. Let the womb take in. By the power of... Take it right now. Alright, it's time for you to go. Now, in the name of Jesus. I challenge you. Come and stand here. There's no time. See, demons can distract. If you waste time on them, they are going to distract you. Are you listening to me? All these things are distractions. Learn this. This is not just a place to receive. It's a place to learn. Many people focus. I'm not against all of but it's not necessary. We don't have all of this time. Are you listening to me? Come and stand here. Quickly, come and stand here. It was finance, right? Okay. Let God solve somebody's problem right now. Listen. I release you into financial blessings. 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 Hallelujah. Pastor Jakes is going to come. Bishop Stan is going to come. They are going to speak prophecies into you. Hallelujah. I wish we had time. But as they speak, please receive. Hallelujah. They will speak and while I go up there. When they are done, we'll come and pray on your request. Can you wait a few more minutes? Can you wait a few minutes? Pastor Jackson. Okay. Please, ushers, just cast your offering. Cast your offering quickly. Ushers, all over. If there are no ushers, just be patient. Inside and outside. Please make sure you drop your money to only ushers. Hallelujah. Please lift up your hands. There's no time. Join your hands with Bishop and as we pray, whatever you desire, okay? Whatever giftings you've been trusting God to unlock in your life, whatever dimension of God you've been trusting God to push you into, as we pray corporately, the presence of God and the oil of God will be poured upon you in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you in Jesus' name. I give you praise in the name of Jesus. Even as you have declared through your servant, Lord, as we cast this seed, may it be an end to poverty and financial hardship in the name of Jesus. You cause doors to be opened for every family represented here in Jesus' name. We stand in agreement and rebuke Devorah in the name of Jesus. Devorah in form of sickness, in form of accident, we rebuke you in Jesus' name. We set everyone free. Enter into your financial liberty in the name of Jesus. Marital liberty in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Let me invite the ministers as we pray on the request. If you've not written your request, please write it here quickly. I want to, after this, I'm going to be inviting Uneko and his wife who are going to be dedicating and praying for their child. Hallelujah. And any other woman with child here, you're going to come out with your child. We're going to pray and speak protection after I do that very quickly. Hallelujah. Please. Very quickly. Stretch your hands while you are seated. You don't need to stand up. Stretch your hands as we pray on this request. Go ahead and pray. Father, we pray that you visit your people. Visit your people, oh God. Visit your people. Visit your people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, visit families in the name of Jesus. Grant every spiritual blessing that your people are asking for. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. We pray that every prayer point here, Lord, is answered in the name of Jesus. We release the angels of God to bring answers and solutions to needs in the name of Jesus. Let breakthroughs come, academic blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for businesses. We ask that prayer points here about businesses, that the Lord will open up doors in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask for healing. We release the healing of God upon your lives in the name of Jesus Christ. We bring salvation into your family. The Lord visits your family in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord blesses you with peace joy in the name of jesus christ of nazareth refreshing comes from the presence of the lord refreshing comes from the presence of the lord in the name of jesus christ of nazareth every closed gate is open in the name of jesus christ of nazareth every dark cloud is rolled away in the name of jesus christ of nazareth father we thank you we give you praise we celebrate you in our lives in the name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah put your hands together for the lord Hallelujah. Please quickly, quickly, quickly. All the children, quickly, quickly. Please save time. We just have about five minutes or so and we're out of. Celebrate them as they come if you know God will give you children. Please come and line up here quickly, quickly. Great are you, Lord. Greatly to be praised. All the earth will sing. Father, you reign. Great are you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, let me pray. Please, Uneku, come up with your wife. How many of you remember them? Worship team. Come on, celebrate your own. Technical, celebrate your own too. See, they're all seated together. Is that where they met? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody stretch your hands towards them. This baby is a miracle baby. I tell you. I was there in the hospital. I didn't even know the baby was on the bed. I said, where is the baby? Hallelujah. Stretch your hands and pray. Rebuke the hand of Satan. Do it as though you are praying for your own child. Rebuke the hands of Satan. This baby is blessed. Growing normally. Daddy and mommy are healthy. In the name of Jesus. We dedicate this child in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. This child will grow in wisdom, in stature, Amen. and in favor with God and with men. Amen. We command this child to be an ambassador. Amen. We program his destiny to glorify Christ alone. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I pray for peace in this house. This will only be the first child and not the only child. 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pastor Jakes and Bishop Stan, can I invite you just to come and lay hands on these children? Hallelujah. As we lay hands, all three of us will lay hands. You just lay hands. I'll come back and lay hands on them. As we lay hands on the children, we rebuke the hands of Satan. We rebuke the hands of Satan. No, let me lay hands on them before they go. We are, we are doing it, all of us, please. Very quickly, these are instructions that God is giving. We are not just doing these things carelessly. Any child, any one child that has anything that is not of God, we cancel it right now. We cancel it right now. Eh? In the name of the Lord Jesus, may the Lord visit this child. Let his hearing be perfected. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. See how wicked Satan can be. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. These children are blessed. Where is he? Bring him. The boy ran away. Because this boy wants to kill himself. It's the spirit that wants to kill him. Where is he? I tell him to stand but he went. You see what I told you spirits. He ran away to where? Wherever he is right now. In the name that is above all names. May the Lord visit him. You will go back and you will come and testify. Hmm? I'm seeing the fire of God on him. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord visits him. You are standing on his behalf. In Jesus name. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. Uh -uh. Come out of this girl. Devil of darkness. May the Lord bless you. Madam, God is really visiting your family. May the Lord. Uh, you came out for yourself. Or for your child. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I prophesy upon your life. Please stand up, everybody. Be rounding up now. Every closed door. In the name that is above all names. I open it right now. Every door of failure and disappointment. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let that door be open now. I pray right now. Any voice that is speaking against you and your destiny, I command those voices to be silenced right now. Whatever is stopping your spiritual development, whatever is stopping your passion for God, one leg in, one leg out, I pray, I release encounters to your life. Encounters with angels. Encounters of heaven. Visions and revelations. Dramatic encounters with Jesus Christ. I pray for the spirit of prayer. May it come upon you in a mighty way. Who is this? Oh, see the boy is back. Come. Look at me. How are you? The Lord will set you free. Eh? You love Jesus. Look at me, look at me. You love Jesus. Do you like what happens to your life? Huh? Are you tired of it? Look at me. Are you tired of it? Eh? You want to be free from it? Huh? Madam, it's not this boy that is doing these things. Are you listening to me? This is a suicidal spirit. Huh? This is demonic. Because this boy is destined to be great. Are you seeing... And this is why the devil wants to destroy him. Hmm? Look at me, my brother. Why did you go away? Okay. He doesn't even know why he left. Hallelujah. The mighty name of Jesus Christ, that devil of darkness. Your time in this boy's body is over. The fire of the Holy Ghost against you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm praying for you right now. Who is Bulus? It's his uncle. Bulus is his uncle. Do, you, do I know Bulus? Where is he? Hold my hands. Father, 
I pray that the wickedness of men will not catch up with this boy. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, my God and my King, I pray for a dramatic visitation. Look at me. Look at me. Go to church. Join a fellowship. Huh? These bad guys that are around you, they will destroy you. I cancel your appetite for them. They are, they, are trying to, they are trying to introduce you into wheat and all of this nonsense. You will not have appetite for any of these things. Hmm? You will become an obedient and a respectful child. This hardened heart this night has been replaced with the heart of stone. Salvation comes to this family. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Rehila. Who is Rehila? Do you know anybody called Rehila? What is, I mean, well, I'm hearing the name Rehila. This is your daughter? Come. How are you, my dear? Hold my hands. See a mystery. I'm going to be praying for you. But is that your sister that is going, hold, hold on, don't tell me. I, I don't want you to tell me. Hmm? Don't tell me, don't worry. That's your sister, dear. I'm seeing light. It's leaving you and it's entering. I'm going to pray for you, but the prayer is going to affect her. Hold my hands. I set you free right now. I set you free right now. Lose, lose her from that chain. Be loose right now. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit. There is deliverance going on in your family right now. I don't know why this is happening, but God is bringing you from Brother, look at me. Please be a gentleman, okay? Be a gentleman. Love God. Be serious with your life. You are a healer. Okay. Well, you came out. Let me pray for you. The, the Lord is not giving me anything exactly. What do you want the Lord to do for you? Ah, you don't know. I'll just pray generally for you. Go. Is that okay? Lay your hands on your chest. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I command favor to your life. I command favor. Favor. Favor is one blessing that the Lord has given us here. I release it into your life right now. Whatever has been a challenge for you, may God speak it. Listen, when God speaks over your situation, that's all it ends. If you are here, I didn't call your case, but you came with an expectation right now in the name of Jesus. I pray for you. May the Lord visit you at that point of your need. Every habit here that is not of God, masturbation, pornography, all of these devilish things that are destroying people, I cast it out of your life forever. I cast it out of your life forever. It will not return again. I cast it out. I cast it out of your life. Every form of immorality that stops you from entering the dimension God wants to take you, I release grace upon you to walk in genuine holiness and purity. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for your parents and your loved ones. As God visits you here, may he visit them. As God visits you here, may he visit them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, as we step into the seventh month, may it be a time of perfection for you. May it be a time of perfection for you. May it be a time of perfection for you. What you have not accomplished from January to June, accomplish it in July. I command promotion. I command promotion. All of you in ministry, I pray that you will see a greater anointing in your ministries. I release greater fire in your fellowships, in your churches, 
in your ministries let devils be casted out let the sick be healed let sinners be saved in the name of the lord jesus christ i command increase and expansion for ministries here in the name of the lord jesus christ all of you planning for marriage i command whatever resource you need i release it for you even if the man has not come i bring him into your life even if the woman has not come i bring her into your life in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah now inside and outside this is an opportunity for those who have never given their hearts to the lord please stand up everybody keep standing please hallelujah the greatest miracle that can happen in this place is that you are translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of god's dear son you have seen the miracles and all of these things but there are many of us that need to make a decision for the lord jesus christ hallelujah and right now as we begin to clap i'll count one to five praise god inside and outside please give them space inside and outside i want you to come before the lord here you've never given your heart to the lord or you made a decision for jesus once you made a decision for jesus once but you found yourself derailing please come out and stand here in the name of jesus please leave your seat and come out appreciate them they are coming god bless you please rush rush run 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 don't be afraid god bless you as you come god bless you as you come don't be ashamed inside and outside god bless you as you come they are coming koinonia celebrate them outside make sure you don't stay back don't let any devil rob you of the greatest blessing keep coming keep coming young and old keep coming thank you jesus hallelujah keep coming hallelujah praise the lord now when i do this selena and my sister and their roommates please you come and stand i'll pray for you hallelujah all of you hallelujah now lift your hands those of you in front thank you so much for coming see after me lord jesus i love you i believe you died for me i believe you rose again for me i receive eternal life into my spirit i declare that i'm born again i'm saved jesus is lord of my life i denounce sin and satan from today the holy spirit lives in me i have eternal life and the gift of righteousness and i will reign in this life and i declare by the power of the holy spirit that i'll never be the same again my life is transformed in the name of jesus dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.